Hello, hello. How's it going? Welcome in, welcome in. Hi, River. How's it going? Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. What's up? My goodness. I feel like... I feel like it's been forever, and it's only been a few days. I don't know. The weekend just takes longer, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like it's been a minute since I've streamed. It really hasn't been that long. But anyways, I'm glad I'm back. Hello. We had a really productive week of art last week. Uh, we finished our witch and got that posted up on the Instagrams. And we also did the mushroom samurai and got that posted up. And uh, it showcased on Monday over on Anthony Wheeler's stream. Everyone really enjoyed that. It was super cute. Um, I may take the um, one of those mushrooms and turn them into a sticker uh, and put that in the shop. I just haven't had time to do that yet. Uh, I probably won't do anything with the witch because that's a uh, draw this in your own style thing. It's kind of not... But <coughs> Excuse me. Good lord. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could. Anyways, so um, continuing with the spooky theme, I'm kind of in a spooky vibe. I don't do super gross horror gore stuff, but I do try to keep it a little more on the tamer side of the the haunting spooky ghouly th vibe. Uh, when I do do uh, do do, bleh. when I do draw in the horror genre or thriller genre, Halloween kind of stuff. So, um, tonight I picked out a, it's kind of like an undead zombie-ish bride of sorts. So, um, that's what we'll be starting this evening. We're going to do it traditional. I may end up switching her into a digital format because I kind of I want to play a little bit more with my um, new brush collections that I have on my iPad. So we'll see how it goes. First I just want to get her get her laid out, sketched out, sorted, you know, anatomy wise and whatnot. <coughs> and for whatever reason, when I come up here in this room, maybe it's like too dusty or something, who knows. It's not that dirty. But um... I get this cough when I'm up here, so I have water. Keep it moist. Keep it moist. So that's the plan tonight, you guys. We're gonna we're gonna work on an undead undead decaying dreams bride of whatnot. And I kinda like spent a long time trying to figure out what it was I was going to draw tonight and so I'm glad I finally settled on something that's always exciting when you have something to draw on your live stream how has everybody else been doing that's what I want to know how have you been doing river river shine what you been up to any new projects going on any cool places you've been to Tell me all the things while I unwedge my art box from whatever is happening here. There we go. Tell me all the things. Is this right? That's maybe right. I think I want a little darker. Found a new lo-fi playlist to play. So we'll see if I get in trouble with it or not. It wasn't specifically marked as copyright free, so we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. I don't want I don't want that. That I definitely don't want. Alright. This needs sharpened, so let's find a 
shop them. Wherever that may be. Do I have to pull out the... I bet I know where it is. Alright, so. Any artists that don't know that has the lead holders. The lead, you can take all the way out, and then on the end, there's a hole that's actually a sharpener for your lead. In case you didn't know, now you do. And you just give it a couple of spins with your hand. Twist, twist, twist. And it gets a little sharper. And then you just have to tap out the end to get the dust out of it. And you're all good. That looks lovely. All right, let's tap that out. I mean, you don't have to, but I don't like getting dust crap everywhere. And you just slide it back into the thing and you're good to go. Beautiful. All right, so uh, let's get switched over to the art land. There we go. See, beautiful sharpened pencil. I need to pull this back a little bit, I think. I think that's good. We're going to do it this way, though. Undead Bride. Oh yeah, before I do that, let's open up the uh, the old voice channel. Make sure that's open and available if anybody wants to come in and chitty chat. There we go. Okay. Now we'll get started. First we gotta map out the framey body frame. So we're kind of just going hips this way. It's too big already. Let's figure this out. Well, hey, look who's here. What's up, cutie? Doing all right? Yeah. Better now that you're here. <laughs> Sorry, I saw you one and I was like, oh, I should probably just like chill and pop in. <laughs> if you yeah, I love it when you come and hang out. What you been up to today? Uh taking care of a sick kid. Yeah. Oh no, she's sick. Three days straight, no school. Oh boy. Yeah. Yep. I'm Temperature so... about a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, mama, that's no fun. Don't know what it is, but she's going back tomorrow if she doesn't have a temperature. <laughs> Good grief. Well, they don't have school on Monday anyways, right? Uh, fall break, right? Columbus Day. Oh. Yes and no, maybe. Depends on the school. <laughs> okay. um, I, I think uh, our school may have, like, parent-teacher conferences or something wrapped around it. I don't... I. October confuses me. 
Because there's yeah. fall break, there's Halloween, there's Columbus Day, there's parent-teacher conferences, it's the end of the quarter, so there's a bunch of extra crap. Oh, and probably school pictures. That's yep, tomorrow, just went through by the way. Yeah. <laughs> my kid, my son's was is tomorrow. Abby had her several weeks ago, so I'm just like, good lord, what took him so long? <laughs> yeah. It's all about scheduling. But anyways, so we're doing like a zombie, half-dead, undead bride person tonight oh we'll see how she turns out i it took me forever to figure out what i was doing yeah so she, she, she's like yeah that happens all the time with you <laughs> that sounds cool though we will find out how cool she is soon enough mm-hmm because I keep drawing her too freaking big and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that so much because I spend so much time redrawing and redrawing to make sure that she's like the right size and she's always ends up being too big. That's like the weakest link of my art skills is proportioning at the beginning. Oh, I feel that so much. Because I end up having to fix and correct along the way and she ends up getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And I'm just like, you're only supposed to be this big. See, so I'm like, <laughs> like, this is the like what takes the longest of everything that I do. Because I'm having to like do over and do over and do over. I'm trying to figure out the way I want her to be. Yep, I totally understand that one. So how's the, how's your painting going? Did you finish it? No. Have you done no. anything on it at all? No. <laughs> what? I've been a lazy bastard. Oh my gosh, have you done any art? No, I mean... Yes. I've, I've been drawing my hands. I've been taking pictures oh. of my hands drawing them. That counts. Like oh, I did bread. see. I did see your yeah. little sketch of that. That was cool, actually. I liked that quite a bit. October tenth, no school. Indigenous Peoples Day. Okay, so we don't have school. Nice. Sorry, I, <laughs> I'm looking this stuff up and I'm trying to have a conversation at the same time. <laughs> I should download that. I feel like I'm um, like yeah. always doing that as well. Yeah. Wheels Magoo in the chat. Ooh, I like your little... What is this dancing... F is that a flame? Oh, it is. And it has a cutie little face on it. That's adorable. What's up, Wheels? How's it going? Yeah, I feel like taking pictures of your own anatomy and drawing it is, like, really fun to do. Because you can change it up all you want. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Um... Yeah, I really feel like I need to be doing some revisiting of anatomy practice because I just feel like I get distracted by not doing it correctly. Or yeah. I get to a point where I'm doing it pretty well and then I go off and do something else. And then it's like, well, I used to know how to do that good, but now I suck at it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was good at that at one time in my life. <laughs> Like, I used to be really, really good at hands, but whenever it comes to drawing characters' hands now, it's just like, derp. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that's why you gotta take pictures of derp. your hands in different positions or, like, find somebody with that, yeah, same position of that hand. Which, it comes in the, like, it's hard to do sometimes when they're in certain positions. Yeah, and especially if you're drawing small sometimes. It gets, because oh, you can't gosh, get down there and yeah. do the little details and stuff. I didn't even know it had a face on it. I didn't know it had a face on it either until I clicked on it. I clicked on the little thing to make it bigger and it has this itty bitty tiny little chibi face on it, which is really cute, by the way. Like I was just watching Insane Ink and like, you know, all the, the cool things that they do on there. Yeah. And like the hand proportions were terrible on this one piece of art. I'm like, dang. I need to practice my hands. <laughs> That's like what triggered it. <laughs> I actually uh, was looking for, you know, I, lo I love like sp 
late at night while I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> the doom scroll, you know, the, the love. We all do it. It's If you say you don't, you're lying. Anyways, um, I was doom scrolling on the old Pinterest. Just trying to find some, like, you know, art ideas and whatever. And I stumbled upon, uh, like, reference guides, which I forget that they're there. I forget that Pinterest has so many cool art tools. They really do. On there. I'm actually looking at Pinterest right now as you're talking. Actually, <laughs> I, I actually just started a inspiration board, and then I have an art tools board. They're two separate, complete different things. Oh, um, really? Here, I'll, I'll switch over. We'll, we'll do a little Pinterest art dive. So there's me. There's my my sh shit tons of ads or ads pins words are hard okay so I mean, you are in an ad right now so i mean that makes sense <laughs> this is true this is true so i basically have got like my graphic design ideas so if there's something really cool like a style that i want to try i'll pin it in there um a lot of art prompts kind of have like fairies or mermaids especially in the spring and summertime so if i see some really cute inspirations i'll like throw them in there this the cute things board is my favorite my absolute thousand favorite because oh my god you, can you squeal enough in the cuteness apparently sailor moon was cute enough i pinned her twice she's wearing a different outfit though so that's fair but anyways um yeah there's a lot of cuties in here and whenever i was doing all of my cutie sea creatures and stuff there was a lot of inspiration of like styling that i kind of pulled from these guys Oh my gosh, it's so fun to get to pull those. I have my retro favorites from all, I mean, all the toys I used to use when I was a kid. Lip smackers, I mean, the yikes, school supplies. There's all sorts of stuff in this board. And of course, there's a sea of Lisa Frank. I'm going to do a Lisa Frank series one of these days. I swear it. I swear I will. Cool. I swear I will. But, um... This is kind of what I do late at night is I'm like, I just like search for stuff here recently. I've been looking for spooky stuff. So like I have like retro spooky stuff. I have super cute chibi style. There's even Lisa Frank color palette stuff. Actually, this is Lisa Frank spooky stuff. But um, I know, right? I'm just like, I want to do that. Look at this cutie zombie. Look at her. Anywho. So yeah. That, that's basically what inspiration boards are. Things that make you super happy, giddy, excited about art. Art tools are different. Art tools are guides to help you draw hands, help you draw the torso, the body at different angles, how to draw um, different um, poses, or if you want like more animated eyes to depict different emotions, you know, they have different things that you can learn by just, you know, kind of practicing those things. So I've kind of, actually, I really like this one. The different ways to like cartoon a baby. Oh, really look at cute. Chunky legs. I know, the <laughs> little chunksters. The little chunksters. But um, I mean, you could make this a super cute, adorable, sweet baby. You could make it a zombie baby. You could do whatever you need. And he's like sitting here chewing on on a donut. It could be literally anything in his hand that he's chewing on, you know? So you can kind of like characterize and stylize this however you want, but it has the basic wireframe of how the body is proportioned and built. And that's more of a chibi style baby than a realistic baby. But you can type that in here. You can also do different hairstyles. They have guides for that. Ooh. Cool hands. I love this hand, the dynamic fingers coming out towards you yeah that's like i literally just got done like doing something like that <laughs> um there's uh some more dynamic poses too so you're getting the body at like different angles than what you would see as like just a traditional like standing still or whatever um you can search this stuff on google too but um yeah just different breakdowns of like this is a full fr this column is all front view so if it's just like straight on never got into pinterest too much you need to if you're doing art stuff you're missing out if you don't so the left side is just your front on view the middle column is the three-quarter view and that's the trickiest one to do to be honest 
And then the profile view, which is just complete side of your face. So it shows you how the, they look differently. How to, how to do an eyeball. How to break down lips. There's some more hairstyles. But yeah, you can just go in here and you can just search terms how to break down the planes of the nose. And that's probably a model off of David. You know, like the traditional like art books, the majority, yeah. especially the nose and the ear, um, are based off of the statue David. For the most part. That's cool. It's kind of like the standard teaching tool this is a really cool one because look how it has the skull so it shows you how the eye sockets are laid out and then it shows you how the eye ball sits in the head this is a i'm gonna save this one because it's really nice and then down here it shows you like open mouth the the snarl of the lip lift kind of thing uh, this is like the bottom view of a nose which you normally don't see that so if you were drawing somebody let's say they were sleeping in their bed and you were drawing them from the foot of the bed you could like look up your nose and see their boogers or whatever <laughs> <laughs> but yeah there's lots of really cool stuff out there this one has some really nice dynamic poses as well but yeah you can just go through and just build a nice little um reference guide for yourself Heck nice yeah. he head tilts and what planes of the face it breaks down your planes of the face in reference to like a block and then it shows kind of how those planes look at different angles and stuff which is kind of neat and that's a male head and I'm, the female head I mean will look similar but they have different um, structures are a little more softer structures. Look at these lips. My god. Those are beautiful. Ooh, luscious lips. I know. They're schmoochy. Schmoochy, schmoochy. Breaks down the different um, texturing and uh, tonal techniques where you can smudge. Remember we were talking about smudging the other day? Um, yeah. I think Wheels was here for that. Um, when I showed how to do a little bit, uh, don't over smudge because it gets, it'll flatten your, your tones. You can do it a little bit. <laughs> Wills, were you here whenever we were talking about, uh, the smudging, the smudging of stuff? Because I was doing those pencil drawings. I think it was the sci-fi, one of the sci-fi ones. I think it was the the little android robot lady that we were working on. It also messes up the paper really bad. It does. Like it's not paper. really a good practice, but if you have something that's super harsh, like a, a subtle skin tone change in a tight, small area, it's okay to smudge it a little bit. I just wouldn't make it a habit of doing the entire composition with a smudge because it's just really, it does flatten and it, it, it it's not 100%. Makes it look almost like fuzzy, out of focus. Yeah. Anyhow. It gets so nerdy. I'm glad you're here. We can get nerdy on art together. Yeah! <laughs> this is a good one, too. You guys just want to play on Pinterest together? The last time I was here, you were talking about the witch. The That was... Uh, yeah, we finished the witch. I don't know if you saw... We did finish the witch. It's she's up and posted in all the places. Um, but back for like the first week of September, we did an android princess lady for the day. And I think the day's word was platinum or something. And uh, we were talking about um, shading and blending with with graphite. Uh, that was a while back. Ooh, there's shapes. You gotta do your 3D shapes. Because everything in the world is built out of these shapes. Literally everything. You know? So funny, because we always, like, forget, like, what our, the common things are in art. The basics, man. The basics. Yeah. And perspective. You gotta love that, too. Anyways, Yes. Uh, there's lots of things that you can spend hours doing. What's up, Mr. Blu-ray? 
we're just geeking out in art. We're just doing it. We're just geeking out on art. We were talking about the wondrous discoveries. The wondrous discoveries. The wondrous discoveries of the art tools on the Pinterest. Yes, there's lots of free references to do good anatomy practices. Yes. Speaking of art, maybe I should do some. <laughs> because I have really bad anatomy practices. I still think she's drawn too big. Because she is. Damn it. Damn it. You know, I've always, I've always, uh, I've always, um, noticed that about my art is I draw everything too big mm. as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to wireframe her out a little bit, so I'm not doing all the details, but it's kind of not working in my favor at the moment. Yeah. So I'm just, so I'm just doing some uh, more comic, part, comic page coloring and so, I'm, so that's what I'm doing right now. You're doing your, your pages for your mm -hmm. buddy's thing? Yep. Yeah. Doing page two, which, which I had a uh, couple on doing mostly. Uh, not the coloring part, just uh, just uh, just you know, misplacement, and so I, so I had to do it all over again, and so, mm -hmm. so it's all right. It's all good. It's almost done. Yeah. Then tomorrow, then um, my Twitch emote game. Oh, Twitch, your emote game is odd. Well, yeah, they have the the dinosaur, but what what's the what's the the um, puppy? I didn't remember that. Is that a new one? It is a new one. It's like pop cat, but it's not a pop cat. It's a dog named Nemo, which I don't understand the reference, but it's <laughs> cute. It's the newest one. Yeah, it only took them like 5,000 years to get animated emotes, right? They're a little slow on their own platform. I never understood that. Does somebody want to explain, explain that to me? <laughs> They've had animated emotes on, on Twitch for eons, and Twitch <laughs> is just now rolling out animated emotes for their own. <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah, I'm a little fuddy duddy. I don't understand. Why do they do the things they do in the way that they do them? The world we never know. Maybe. Maybe not. It's almost, it's almost like, uh, how many looks does it take to get to the, to, to, to the center of the We are, we don't talk about licking in here. This is a no licking stream. <laughs> <laughs> this is a no licking stream, Mr. Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was trying to, what I was trying to get is, at the end of the commercial, it's also, like the world. The we never know. Aren't the best. Twitch don't come. I agree. I agree, Wheels. There's, there definitely could do better, huh? Some of those are kind of like grandfathered in because they meant something in like 1995 or whenever it is that they started this website. <laughs> Back in the day. Back in the day. And nobody probably understands the reference. Yeah. Or, or if they do, they're only gamers, so it, it's irrelevant to us non-gamer folk. Yeah, exactly. Which is also true. And this needs scooted up some more. Motherfucker. Shit. Where 
just gonna make it work, bruh. Yeah, so, yeah, some people don't even know the... We talked about licking the last time we were here. We can't lick things! There's a, there's a rule you agreed. You guys agreed before you had to, to do the chat thing. There is no licking. It's one of the rules. I didn't lick anything. Gosh. I'm about to throw this across the room because it's really starting to irritate me. You can lick your partners, remember? That's true. Consensual Start licking. Over. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want That's it to be. I, my I want today. it to be right. God it. damn it! Yeah. Ooh, I'm hearing Papa Badger getting. Getting feisty down there with some younglings. I can guess and be correct on which one it is he's yelling at. The one that always takes 3,000 years to get her butt in bed. <laughs> Have you lost Medicaid or CHIP? At healthcare.gov, four out of five customers can find a quality plan for $10. Oh or my less gosh, with the ads health. within the ads, it's like Enrollment adception. Fucking hell, YouTube. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Yeah, as soon as I get to the scene to fix it, it ends. Be like the moon I drew last night. And be all airborne. <gasps> you drew a moon? I want to see it. I want to see the moon. I see the moon and the moon sees me. God bless the moon and God bless me. I hate like how I'm trying to look for like um a violet tattoo design on Pinterest and it's all pansies. Like people don't know what a Don't a be a pansy, is. bruh. <laughs> like you can clearly see a difference between them, but you threw it across the room. But did you like not go back to it? You just left it there to die? You just left the moon there to die all alone? Oh no. Poor moon. What did the, what did the moon ever do to you? Uh, apparently it didn't do what it was told. It didn't put the lotion on the skin. Finished. It sucks. <laughs> Ask Des. What? And did Des see it? No. The moon. The wheels. The no. <gasps> I want to see the moon. Show me the moon. Karina's in the chat. Karina's in the chat. What's up, girl? How's you doing? We're just poorly drawing a sketch right now. Oh, I thought hey, she Karina. did. Hey, Karina. Karina, what are you doing up to? What you been what you been doing? How was your weekend? How's the week going? What activities you got working on? We're trying to draw an undead bride, but 
literally it's kicking my butt so I don't even know if it's gonna see its full fruition of undeadness to be quite honest we're, we're trudging through like troopers that we are She looks pissed off, which is fair, but that's not the intention. I'm just going to leave her pissed off right now. Oi, oi. Same stuff, different day. I feel that. I feel that vibe. Shea. Would you just look at that? You know what, guys? We're going to do pumpkins. <laughs> 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 Fuck this. We're doing pumpkins. You know, we're going to do pumpkins on black it. paper. Fuck this chick. I will revisit her later in a better headspace. God damn, I keep hitting shit. You get frustrated with her? Yeah, I'm not throwing her across the room, but she is putting put in timeout. That's happening. All right, so we're going to do some pumpkins. <laughs> just, that seems fair. Yeah, we'll, we'll revisit. Was like, we're, we're not going to put her, we're just gonna put her in timeout, today. you guys. Yeah. We're in a timeout kind of art mood. All right, black is fun. Black Black paper is fun. We'll keep the pencil out for a moment. Let's let's uh do some pumpkins or something. <laughs> that sounds fun. There was a cool pumpkin stack that I saw the other day. I wanna maybe give it a go. I just have a feeling it's gonna be one of those kind of nights where we just say, you know what? The art gets a timeout. <laughs> mm-hmm. Need to wrap my head around it. I may actually give her another go in a digital format another time with an image yeah that, that seems about right yeah oh at break again that's mm -hmm. lovely no, um, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's it's always better to uh, to do things digitally sometimes Sometimes. I don't want to be stuck in the land of needing to have to do all the all the digital arts to, to make my life happy or whatever, but I, I definitely need work in it, and I have a lot of fun brushes that I haven't used all of them yet. So we're just gonna save that chick for for those that's a, that's a that's a, a digital project now <laughs> she has been bestowed a digital project now okay so we have a layout of a stack why all the food ads at bedtime because that's whenever you want to order doordash is whenever you're all in your jammy jams and tucked in all nice and tight under your snuggly wugglies and you're like, man, that sounds really good. I think we'll go get fourth wheel at Taco Bell. And you get on your phone and you pay like double just to get it delivered to your house so you don't have to get into your fuzzy wuzzy slippers and go get them yourself. It's pretty smart on their uh, marketing behalf. Just saying. I'm not saying that I condone it. I'm not even saying that you should use DoorDash. But for the fact of their marketing team, they're pretty smart. We're doing it like that. Alright. We're bringing out the big guys. Woo! 150 colors to fuel your imagination. It's like going to the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory of Art Supplies. Mm -hmm. Just saying. It's pretty rad. 
All right, so we need oranges and we need yellows and we need greens because that's what pumpkins are. If you were talking about my comment, I couldn't hear. I was talking about food ads and the reason why they deliver them to you at this time of the evening. And it's because you're already snuggly wugglied and you don't want to go outside. So you'll pay extra for somebody to do it for you. <laughs> Theoretically, of course. All right, we have oranges. Where are my oranges? Where are all the fucking colors? I have a million of them. But well, sometimes it's more hilarious if you have to go in your fucking you look. You know what? I have no qualms with leaving my house in my freaking pajamas. I have no problems whatsoever. Uh, when, when I became a mother, all my fucks went out the window in the labor room. <laughs> it's it's factual. That's truth. It's yeah, that is the truth. All right, so we're gonna do a cute little pumpkiny outline. This one's gonna be mush. He's got like a a mushed, grumpy face. Because he's at the bottom and nobody wants to be mushed. Wait, we're supposed to get dressed when we leave home? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. Theoretically. Um, society still prefers that. Um, I don't think you need to do full glam makeup like they used to require societally in the 50s and whatnot. But, um, yeah, they still kind of enjoy when you dress appropriately for public. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Grumpy eyebrows on a pumpkin is kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Fine. getting somewhere with these pumpkins now. Simple shapes are fun! Looks nice on that paper. Yeah, it does. It's gonna look great. I like how you can read my sass so well. I have a PhD in uh, sarcasm and a minor in sassafras. So, uh, I've been practicing for years on how to properly read it in script form. I feel like I have a pretty good batting average, so I'm glad that I'm uh, accurately uh, translating the tonal qualities of your text chat messages. Yes. Well done. Golf clap. Joey the scavenger. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome in. How's it going? What's up on your Wednesday? How am I? I'm a uh, I'm spiffy. I'm uh, spiffy as I can be. We're just sitting here hanging and chilling and chatting and arting and maybe even a little bit of farting. I don't know. I'm not farting. Somebody might be though. <laughs> Wheels, are you are you admitting to that? I think I think Wheels is admitting to the farting part. That might be what we we felt a little bit ago. 
I thought it was just the thunderstorm outside, but it could have been her. I'm not sure. So I completely screwed up my Inktober today. Oh, shit. I drew something that I thought was the prompt, but it wasn't the prompt. What was the prompt that you drew? What did you think the prompt was? And um, did you get any notification that the Inktober police were dispatched towards your current location because I have also experienced the f the Inktober fucked uppery but nobody came over to my house so I felt like I like dodged a bullet <laughs> um I think it's I've I've done how many years have we done Inktober now? Since 2019, however many years that is. Can somebody math that? Um About four years going yeah. <laughs> four years or so. I did Inktober. I did I did it last year and the previous years. I did not do it this year at all. And I don't plan on it. I debated doing like some kind of like graphic design practice but that ain't happening <laughs> can we be real for a minute that shit ain't happening <laughs> but um yeah I, I'm curious about what this prompt was though you're welcome to share a link to it if you have it posted anywhere I don't mind I like sharing arts Instead of doing Inktober, I'm doing Handtober. You know, Ooh. Practicing every day on hands. Yeah. Hands, taking pictures of my hands and, you know. That's Most good. Most of the Inktober people were, like, stuck up and, like, you have to do it their way or no way, so. Uh, some people I are, don't, some people stress yeah. out way too much about that shit, and it's just, like, you need to calm down. It's an art yeah. prompt. Jake is not going to come attack you if you do it digital or if you use a color instead of black only, people stress out about that shit really bad. I'm like, y'all need to calm, take a breath. Take a breath, it's art. The whole reason that it was existed was to challenge you, not to make you feel like you're a piece of shit if you step out of line. So, um, It's not as strict as some people think it is. <laughs> Even Jake himself has said so. He don't care. As long as you're just drawing. <laughs> Which is the original point. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about when I say Jake. <laughs> he's the creator of Inktober. Jake Parker. Oh, I thought, oh, I Jake I Parker. About, not I Jake from State Farm. No. Different one. <laughs> I mean, they may, he may also wear khakis, but, um, yeah, we're talking about a different Jake. I'm, I'm of the firm belief, and I even have argued with those people that Des are talking about <laughs> in different various groups, because there's, there's several groups on Facebook, and there's people that like to be bullies on Instagram, on people's fucking artwork that's just participating, which pisses me off probably more than anything. I don't mind a heated debate in a Facebook group, but whenever you start talking shit on somebody's art, that pisses me off. I'm like, fuck you, get a life. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you go to inktober.com, the official website for the challenge, and you read it specifically says it's fine do what you want um it tells you the, the whole reason why he started it and then it tells you kind of like what his intentions were but that he doesn't really care how you do it just as long as you enjoy doing it uh so i'm doing gore tober and i thought the prompt was mutilation as the prompt sheet was so fuzzy with textures and things that i completely misread it and drew something Jack the Rip themes 
Uh, I would assume that's Ripper, Jack the Ripper themed, and I didn't know what to do. Turns out the prompt was actually mutation. Fair. The police will probably come for me. <laughs> I've since deleted the piece. I did because I got cold feet. No! <laughs> so was it a digital piece or you just deleted it off as social media? Please don't tell me that you deleted it completely. Because I bet it's pretty awesome piece and you should hang on to it. If you plan on redoing it for the actual, like, doing the actual prompt, don't get rid of your piece that you did because it's probably already, it's probably pretty rad. Just saying. Yeah, but yeah, Des, I know exactly what you're talking about. The gatekeepers of the internet. That says, art should be done this way or you suck. Yep. I hate those people. I'm like, art is fucking art. You can do it however the hell you want. I mean, as long as you're not breaking the law. Who gives a flying shit, right? I mean, seriously. Breaking the law. Seriously. Breaking the law. <laughs> Completely deleted it. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. But I still have the piece. I will probably still post it, like, at the end, maybe. Yeah, you totally should. Yeah, you should totally. Totally yeah. save that as a bonus. Bonus art, you gotta spin it. You gotta spin that shit. Be like, you know what? 31 days wasn't enough. Here's 32, bitches. Boom. And then you drop it like it's hot, and everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck? That's extra, bro. All the kids will say it just like that, too. That's right, Karina. Don't let people bully you. People that bully are people that are hurting on the inside and they want misery and wants company. That's what that's all about. Exactly. That's what that's all about. Just give them a big ol' hug. <laughs> Here you go. Have a big ol' hug for you. Yeah, and then you get socked in the face. I would say probably do that carefully. Read the room. Aw, thank you so much for giving me hope, as I felt so silly for getting it. Yeah, that is called bonus art, Joey. That That's what I want you to tell yourself. If there's any, any time this situation happens again, that's called fucking bonus art. Alright? There's no fucked up art. If you're proud of it, you feel like it's post-worthy, even if it doesn't match what the prompt word is, that's bonus art. <laughs> Hell yeah. Everybody needs a little bonus art in your life. Yeah. We're so hard on ourselves as human beings in general. We need we need a little bonus art in our lives. I know I do. Like that mushroom samurai I did last week, I had no plans on doing it. It turned out to be absolutely fucking adorable. And I got a lot of really good feedback on it, too. That's what made it even better. <laughs> I was like, I really need this right now. My, 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 uh, my self-confidence tank is really low this month, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for loving my art. I greatly appreciate you. <laughs> you don't even know. You, well, Des might know, but you don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll be back. Well, all right. Terminator wheels Magoo. Get to the chopper. Chopper. No. Yeah. So right before you came in, Joey, I was working on an undead bride. Well, theoretically, I was attempting to work on an undead bride. Uh, sketching was not going so hot. It was not going well at all. I was struggling. The struggle bus came and picked her up and took her to the art timeout corner. And so she's not dead. <laughs> she's undead in timeout. 
and uh, she will be revisited another time when I don't hate her as much as I do right now. So um, this is why we're drawing a stack of pumpkins currently because we needed a shift. We needed a shift in content so that I did not throw a temper tantrum on live stream because that would not be good. That would not be good. <clears throat> so instead, so instead of, uh, so instead of Lindsay not doing it, she, uh, she told, she told the, the <laughs> Thanks, bride, Joey. She told the dead bride, okay, I want you to spend, I want you to spend some time with Art and Jest. Art and Jest. You are super yeah. sweet, Joey. So, Joey, question. Do you stream? Are you an art streamer? Because if so, I need to make sure I'm following you. So I can catch you on your next live. And everyone else in here can as well. And if you have an Instagram, you're welcome to share that as well. Because we like to support our art friends. That's not how I wanted him to go, but that's how he is now, so that's the way he will be. <laughs> Tantrum might have brought you views, though. Yeah, not the not the right ones that I want, though. Wheels. It's all about it's all about attracting the people you want to be around you. And if I wanted to be a drama queen, I would be in the just chatting category, blowing off. But um, no. Nah. I mean, I could also, like, just wear a sports bra and sit in a tub full of jelly with a Sharpie and just literally sit there and do nothing and people would show up, too. They'd probably tell me mean things, but they would show up. <laughs> They'd be like, we'll pay you bits to put your shirt back on. Please, for the love of God, get out of the tub. <laughs> we will gift you alcohol wipes to take the Sharpie off your skin and cover yourself. For the love of God. <laughs> but people would show up and I would still get money for it. It's all about what you actually want to get out of your live stream. It, just because the content gets attention doesn't mean it's good content. <laughs> It's true. It's true. All right. Should we add some stems? I say yes. Why pretending to be somebody that you're not is not a good idea. Well, you can only hold that facade up for so long, right? It only lasts for so long. That's what she said. And then um, you get tired and have to take a break. So I try to be as authentic and real as, as I possibly know how to be. And try to keep it mostly positive. That's the goal. That's the goal. All right. So it, so it seems like I'm not doing anything on Saturday, which is going to be, I was going to go to the Hollywood Collection show again, but uh, mm. I, but my friend, but my friend, the uh, family uh, that usually takes us. Uh, come go oh, because she because she was uh, working on a book, which is understandable. Working on a book. <laughs> yeah, she was she she's a knitter and she was uh, publishing a book. Interesting. Yeah. 
It's right here. Ad break again. That means time is flying because it feels like I just had an ad break like three minutes ago. That's not true. That's not true at all. So how are you today, Lindsay? Doing great. That's good. I'm good. Oxygen still goes in, carbon dioxide still comes out. That means it's a good day. <laughs> as long as that exchange continues to happen, all will be good. <clears throat> That's all we can ask for. Oh my god, that blend is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. We need to zoom in on this. You guys need to get closer on this. Let's get down here. There we go. Now you can see the goodness that's happening. Oh, look at those faces. Will you look at it? Just look at it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I like this lo fi list. I'm going to have to leave it on the site bowl. Welcome back from the ad break. I know it was super fun. Does everybody want to go eat late night food now? Is that is that what they delivered you? <laughs> That's what I heard they do. I want food. You want food? Yeah, I want food. Give me food. Blu-ray, what's on the uh the the spooky movie list? I know you're watching them. Um, I, I actually have to look for it, but uh, I think I'm gonna watch uh, Friday the 13th, the code the collection. I think, the, I think the last one I stopped on, stopped on is, is uh, part four. Hmm. Right on. I could I could watch the uh, others. Uh, it's four thirty. Sleep schedule's kind of ruined, and my cat has kept me up late. Where are you at? That it's four thirty. Are you a you're a UK friend? Well, I hope you get some rest. It's good to see you. Hope you come back. I'll be streaming again on Friday if you want to pop in or if you have, if you're awake. It's good to see you. that follow button you'll know when I go live next time you're so happy you popped in I am too I'm glad I'm glad that I could uh, give you a little art boost of positivity I think that's the right way to say that I think we all need that every once in a while Oh, it says you're already following? Yay! Awesome! Very cool. Well, enjoy your rest. I hope you have sweet dreams.
You guys, I was looking right before the stream. I only have very, like, less than 10 to hit 600, you guys. That's pretty rad. Thank you. Nice. Good day. Have a great day. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see, what's, what's today? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, um... Well, at least it was, yesterday. it still is. Yeah, yeah. Well, yesterday, well, yesterday, yeah, on Tuesday, uh, I, I was doing my stream, mm -hmm. and then I was gonna, then I was gonna head out, then all of a sudden, the Knicks came in with, with, like, 20 people, and... Like, okay, I'll go in a little bit more. Did we lose Des? <laughs> oh no. No, come back! Come back! <laughs> it's okay. She may have other things that she's got going too, so it's fine. She's got a sick kiddo she's keeping an eye on as well. So, Mommin always comes first, no matter what. That's understandable. Yeah. And she's a good old mama. She's a good ma'am. What's up, Nerdy Mouse? Hey, how's it going? We'll see. Mr. Blueberry. Welcome on in, welcome on in. Hello, folks. How was your oh, day? Very busy. Yeah? Good, yes, yes. Nice. No complaints, just, yeah. Just very busy and um, very rainy now, so. Yeah, we had a bunch of big old thunderstorms come through this afternoon. We're probably getting what you, what you got. Probably. It was a big old honking system, so it probably did go down. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting it hard down here, and so... Uh, I mean, I'm thankful. <laughs> we're, we're getting it hard down here. It's, uh, <laughs> of course, I'm, not that I'm not thankful. I love me some rain. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, we had we had a little bit of hail mixed in with our like flash flooding kind of situation. My God, Jeremy, God, God. Jeremy's here, you guys. What's going on, Jeremy Stoltz and friends? How's it going, guys? Welcome on in, Raiders. It's good to see you. How's it going? How's it going, Jeremy? Not just a visit, it's a raid. It is a oh, raid. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get Jared um, Bear that shout out going. There he goes. We can even take and shout if you're not following, make it happen. <laughs> Where you been, man, Saturn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Don't you wish your girlfriend mm -hmm. was hot like me? <sighs> Don't you wish your girlfriend was a. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Jeremy Stoltz with the, the Mickey Mouse twerking jams. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jerry Bear, I heard a rumor that you haven't been sleeping well and that you need to get your butt in bed. That's what I heard. I I mean, I could be wrong, but it sounds, it tracks. Don't you love a good sleep deprivation? It tracks. <laughs> it fits the mo. Cause guess what? So am I. <laughs> shame, uh, shame, little tree. Why are we shaming little tree? What she do? <laughs> what did she do? Oh no! Hello. Uh, it, it, who was it? It's Jeremy. 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 I get as much well, sleep Jeremy. as I need. I know you're a big boy. I, I only need like two hours sleep every couple days. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh my goodness. She unfollowed you by accident? Oh no worries. It's okay. You can you can 
follow and unfollow as many times as you want. It's totally cool. So tonight, guys, I'll catch you up on the art. Uh, we started with an undead bride attempt, and I got pissed off, and so she got put in timeout. So we'll Ooh. revisit the undead bride another time, possibly in the digital format. That's my theory. Uh, so we switched over to a stack of, of jack-o'-lantern-y pumpkins. What did she do to piss you off? <laughs> I gotta know. Uh, I was just struggling with getting the sketches, the proportions down correctly. Um, it was just me on the struggle bus, uh, and she was really just a victim in the matter, but I really needed to just put her in timeout before I threw her across the room. Or did something horrible like rip her out and tear her up and light her on fire and say a bunch of cuss words and do like a temper tantrum. I didn't feel like that was appropriate. So we just put her in timeout. Oh <laughs> <laughs> you have oh several projects in timeout? That's fair. That's fair. You're just teasing few. her. Oh, okay. I've got a few stories in timeout. My God. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of projects in timeout and I'm actually kind of, I've finished all the projects I was currently working on last week and so I was like well shit what am I gonna draw now if I'm not gonna draw her and so I was like oh yeah I saw this really cool picture of a stack of pumpkins that had some really dramatic faces on them and I was like we could try that we could give that a go pumpkins are, are cute and appropriate for the season and all that stuff so let me go pop in on this theme I mean I'm here in voice chat but let me go pop in on this sure. theme so, Lindsay, I have two more to replace, and I've gotten rid of all of the Twitch generic emotes, and I'm down to all semi-original ones. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Nice. I, uh, I got to make my heart, my loved one, bigger, because mm -hmm. I realized how tiny it was once I made it. I'm like, oh, well, oh. it'll still work for now. Yeah, I need to I need to check these out. Hold on, let me look. Because oh, it's I supposed think... to have three different colors on it, and you can only see the purple, but that's okay. Let me, let me look, let me look. Oh, oh I see. Bear oh, that's feet. cute, though. I see the different and, colors. And then I had the bear high. Aww. And then I added the be kind rewind. <gasps> awesome! I love those. Well done. Aww. Well done. Awesome. And I dig it. I dig it. you have art. I have art. Ooh. Okay. Let's look at the art. One moment, please. I threw all four pages in there for you today. Oh wow, we got we got some reading to do, guys. We got some. some I some I could story. read it for you, I suppose. But... I would love it. I would love it okay. if you if you don't mind. We can have an audio book situation. Yes, we can have let's, an audio. Let's situation. do this. All right. So if we remember, we continued this story from Sci-Fi Timber. Okay. So we we have our bad guy from Sci-Fi Timber. So this is like volume now... two, right? Sort of, yeah. Okay. It's, 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 it, it, but now he's on the the Halloween universe. Okay. So, um, we have, you madman, what are you planning? You will never get away with this. And the bad guy says, you old fools, this universe is mine for the taking. Once I destroy Halloween, it will, yeah, hold on, it will fall like Stalos did, because Stalos was the planet that he took over before. Oh. Then we have a scene of the little farmhouse, which you can see he's made modifications from the from the sci-fi thing because it now has electronics running through it and all yeah kinds it's, of panels it's all and kinds of it. tricked so out and there's like wires right. connecting everything oh, my God. Okay. So oh, then oh we gosh have... hold on joe is raiding oh. <laughs> welcome raiders <laughs> hi joe thanks for the raid bud let's get let's get joe a shout out if, if you guys haven't been uh following joe already please make sure you do he's a super talented artist here on the streamy streams <laughs> Let's see what his shout out is. What is what's going on over there? Oh God! Miles. You caught me. I've been getting ready to laugh and look right at my nose. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh, I hate when that happens when the when it goes up the nose. All right. Well, welcome in Raiders. It's good to see you. Uh, Jeremy just raided in a few moments before you guys did, so we were actually looking at some of the art that he's been doing this month, and he's been reading us a story. It's story time. It's story time. So we've done, we've gone over the first two panels. So let's go, let's read the third panel. 
So then the third one is, my plan is perfect. These modified zombies will stop anyone. Meanwhile, I've started on my strongest batch of clones. And then he gives a good muha. I love the muha. Uh, I like the expression on his face. Hi, Joe. Welcome in. Yeah, he's, he's going a little maniacal. Okay. And then, and then uh, so with the raw supplies on this, um, on this property, I have got this army off to a dead start, which was what the day prompt was. This is cool. I like uh, I like this cornfield. Kind of, yeah, cornfield and zombies. Who, who's who's got corn? Everybody. Who's corn? Everybody. It's fall. Corn. Everyone has corn now. Corn is so funny. Oh, it, it, is. it is. I'm gonna play that game tomorrow. It'll be great. Um, oh, oh, my girl. <laughs> hey, we had my meatloaf. Girl. It's the only thing you can have with meatloaf is corn and mashed potatoes. Uh, yeah, Anyways, carry on. Uh, so then we go to day two, which the uh, prompt is anti haunty And yes. uh, in the Enchanted Woods, we have, Hello, sister, what brings you to the Smoking Tree Woods? And then it says, Abby sent me asking for help. Abby. A great evil from another dimension is trying to... Yeah, Abby, my wit. Yes. What are we doing? Um, is another are we uh, great evil Jeremy's from another comic. dimension is trying to destroy Halloween. We need your help. It says, Abby is a good friend of the woods. I will gladly bring my sword to the cause. And then nice. it says, little one, come here. We have a quest from Auntie Haunty. Oh. And then you see this little werewolf girl kind of popping in going, hey, hey. It says, hello, Auntie Lori, my favorite Haunty. I'm ready to let go. Yes. Uh, good night, so little we, tree. Have a good a good rest. Yeah, little tree's going to go dip and get ready for, get ready for early stuff in the beds. morning. And that was her small appearance in my comic book so far. That's awesome. Very and much. then day three, we have the doctor watches the TV and we have yes. a ad that says from Crazy Freddy, this weekend only, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> and then you see the, the commercial kind of kick in and it shows a, a Joker looking guy. So come on down to Crazy Freddy's Halloween Emporium all weekend. We are slashing prices. Tell him Mr. J sent you. Get it? Slashing prices? <laughs> uh -huh. And then uh, it says, this will be my first test. I'll destroy this crazy Freddy. And you see this little robot down here that's about waist high. It says, Master, shall I round up the zombies? We still have no clones to work with yet. And you can kind of see he's mismodged with a bunch of like different modern technology stuff and not sci-fi stuff. So he's got like mm -hmm. a tape deck in his middle and whatnot. So Yeah, this is cute. I love him. He's all kind of retro. He's amazing. He's a really great character. I'd like to see... A bigger or like a more solo zoomed in version of him so you could like get in right. there and get the details all laid get out the on there that would be so exactly. great oh yeah all right and then we have day four which was today correct yep today so today's thing was uh malibu scream house so we have a shot of a uh you know nice sprawled out mansion type yeah it says meanwhile at melodies and it says moon bathing by the pool you see our girls her eyes closed and then uh the little butler guy runs up with a phone and drink in hand says, A call came in for you. It's Mistress Abby. He says, Hello, yeah, right away. And then you see a guy coming up out of the pool. It's all drenched and wet, and it's our Sasquatch character. And he says, What is it, babe? He says, Vacation's <laughs> over, hun. Back to work. Abby needs us. So he says, Are we taking the plane or the boat? And he says, Let's take the boat. I love the. <laughs> Well, we'll have to tune in tomorrow to see how the story continues. Are we going to see an appearance of Abby tomorrow? Um, we haven't we haven't seen Abby yet. No, so. we haven't. I don't. Yeah, yet she has not showed up. She was she showed up at the end of Sci-Fi Timber, but not at the beginning of Halloween yet. Yes, we're gonna get there. I'm I'm excited. I'm loving this. You've just keep adding more detail and more detail into these stories in the panels and you're just really thinking through how the story goes and it's kind of interesting to follow the thought process on that. So well, and unlike neat. the sci-fi one where I didn't come up with a story until the day of, I've actually put a little bit of planning into this one. So I'm hoping it actually is, is yeah, kind of I coming like out it a little so better. I like it so far. I do too. I like it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So, Joe, did you have anything to share with us this evening? Welcome in, by the way. Again. Um, I like t I like turtles. You do? Did you draw any tonight, or did you just like them? No, I like them. Oh, okay. I like turtles, <laughs> I like turtles too. I like turtles. Yes. I like werewolf movies. Yes. Werewolf. 
How are you doing, Joe? I haven't heard your voice in like a year. Oh, well, I'm here. Yeah, no, I hear you. I'm here, man. I had. It uh... sounds good to my ear holes. Ooh, oh, yeah, you gotta have baby. those ear holes oh, vibrate at yeah. just the right frequency. No, uh, I had uh, I had COVID last week, bro. Yep, yeah. I remember. That's why I said I was. And uh, a little so worried about you. Still got some like residual crap that I'm dealing with, but um, I'm all right. I can't complain. Ooh, I like chocolate turtles too, tree smoker. Mmm, delish. But, uh, yeah, thanks, man. I'm, I'm doing good, all things considered. Nice. I'm just glad we're all getting the family all back together. <laughs> I feel all oh, I know, I gotta squishy. Get on I don't have anything to share. Everything I've done is in writing right now, so nothing really works. Oh. Nice. Nothing I really can share here. And expect y'all to stay on. You didn't want to serenade us with sonnets or anything? No, 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 no. That's not, that's not no. you. No. Guys, there's an ad break coming up in just a minute. Hang tight. We'll be back shortly. Oh, oh bother. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I'm, I mean, part of me would love to get back into the writing, or back into the drawing thing tonight. But it is not this night where I am somewhat sleep deprived because of the writing. Uh, it is amazing how inspiration can rob you of your sleep. So I do love your vernacular, for henceforth I come up from thine. Yes. Treesmaker says we just need Anthony freaking Wheeler. Yeah, we need a, a Wheeler appearance. I need to. Uh, Wheeler was in Fuego today. I need to uh, establish in his memory my streaming schedule because he still can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it wrong half the time. He talks about it. He's like, yeah, and she streams on Thursdays and Fridays. And I'm like, good try, but no. It's Wednesdays and Fridays. He can remember Friday. But the first day is usually always wrong. Tuesdays and Fridays. And I'm like, no. Good try, though. <laughs> <laughs> you were close. My my biggest opus that I did, I've already shared. Ooh, so is it bigger than it? Mr. Holland's? <laughs> I like opuses. That's a really damn good <laughs> Mr. Holland's opus. Yet. I love no. a good opus in the morning. Mm. <laughs> if you take a hot shower, it just gives you a really big opus to your pores. Oh, yeah. But I'm yeah, I should have known it would go this way. Oh, my God. Oh, you do know which stream you came into, correct? Yes, yes. Reminded every time. That's what she here. said. Yes, it's the best. So glad I have it. That's what she said. But no. Badger, oh, badger, yeah. badger, 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 badger. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I took my meds today. Oh, there's the ad. There's the red ad. Oh. It burns. It burns me up here. I, I hear that they're <laughs> delivering many food ads this evening. Yes. To make you... Mogu mogu. You gotta chew. Something that makes you hungry. Angry. Thirsty. Yes, I get my stream established on Wednesday and all of a sudden I get a redeemed raid. Oh, I wonder where this is gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> who was Who picked it this time? Uh, three. Nice, thanks. Tree. And last time, and the time before well, that. Well, Scotty does it a lot that. too, so it's not all. Scotty does. Time. Scotty will. Yeah, well, Scotty's been MIA for a bit. He's his work. Oh, you and Tree have been taking turns redeeming. That's sweet. Jer Bear didn't do his peaches. It's true. Maybe he's... no. I didn't. Whatever, I'll do what I want. I'm losing. I have a feeling it'll it'll come around. I I have full faith. It'll happen. <laughs> Glad I lost the feed for a hot second there. Hey, not, at least not... I, get, I gave you guys something to spend your points on. That was the the biggest complaint for the longest time. <laughs> when are you going to get some redeems? <laughs> well, now you got some. So you can peach on. Lindsay, I gotta say, this is really good. Like, your pumpkin. I look very fun and festive. Well, thank you. Um... Previously, I wanted to punch an undead zombie bride in the, her sketchy throat. So this is a good turnaround from there. Mm. <laughs> because... I'd rather be chunking, punk, uh, chunking pumpkins. Chunking pumpkins! <laughs> just, we'll just chunk all the pumpkins. 
That sounds great. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. How's the weather been, Joe? Is this pregnant? How's the weather? Um, is it sweater oh, hey, weather, weather yet? <laughs> yeah, in Florida. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it's it's that's right. hot as crap down here right now, man. Don't come to Florida. Just, just stay wherever you are. I will. I, it was 85 today. It was warm enough for me. Yeah, it's it's freaking miserable down here, man. Freaking AC's going all day long. It's like I'm oh. done. <laughs> I'm like I'm medium. I'm like well done at this point. Carbroiled. Something like that. <laughs> it's like you don't even get a break. You get like you get like maybe a week of mid 80s and 60s and nine, and all of a sudden the next week is like bam. Yeah, we've been pretty extra warm here too. Um, mm -hmm. Today's been cooler because we've had storms this evening, but um, usually what? it's like I, I've been wearing shorts every day. You know, it's not anything. We have Canada's smoke in Florida right now. You know all those like wildfires in Canada? Can you put a return to sender on that? <laughs> no, you can't. But you can't go outside and breathe because it's like destroying your lungs. It's so bad outside. It sucks. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah. It's like if you don't get a break with the heat, then you got like Canada blowing crap down here. All the tokers up in Canada blowing her. In PA, Mother Nature's bipolar. Yeah, it's that time of the year where you don't know what to wear. It's weird, man. I literally had the conversation with myself today. Jeez. And then I looked at the weather. Oh, wait, no, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Did, did you answer yourself? <laughs> yes. Because I do that too sometimes. <laughs> oh, if I get in an argument with myself and lose, that's when I know. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Those are the best, though. <laughs> Those are the best days. <laughs> the days that they down. don't put me in the asylum. I call <laughs> that a win. Lovely, lovely day. Lovely day. You're coming to take lovely me away. Day. Oh, you're coming to take me away. It's a funny bar. I like this thing for all the time. <laughs> you know that song all too well. It's probably a ringtone. Heard... No, it's a Dr. Demento? Heard... Yeah. Oh my, God, okay, oh my gosh, you guys. The one. The only. Just Josh Uwu has rated us with 34 of his closest friends on the internet. Welcome in, everybody. How's it going? Oh, well. Yeah. You can, you can. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Uwu, how was your streamy stream? <laughs> What's up, outsider? How's it going? What's up, Faithful Loco? How are you? Guys, how was the stream? I popped in earlier, and you were doing a really cool, like, was it a van? What a special friend you are. Oh, thanks for the follow, Miss K-Matt. You guys, I'm so close to 600, I'm, like, excited about that. And I don't know why. I don't really have a reason to be excited about it, but we're, we're so here. close. You it's crazy. Okay. I like the pumpkin. <laughs> there's a little. There's a little. I can take, I can take five, five and six hundred hard. Clip that. Clip that. I think that was outsider on Monday Night Fights, and Mister Ulu. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. If you guys aren't following all those cool peeps that just came in with the raid, please make sure you're filling the the purple hearts. They're all really cool peeps. Awesome part of the community. Tonight we're working on a stack of pumpkins. It wasn't my original plan, but it is a good plan so far. Yes, sir. I want to go take a shower and uh, I'll do my hair here. Thanks for coming in to hang out. It's always good oh, to hear the lustrous tones of your voice, sir. Why? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. How did they make those taste so good? Have a good one. Have a I hope you have night. a good day tomorrow. I hope I do too. Chin up, sunshine. 
Thanks, Turkey. Dude, cream of Egbert's in here too? All the heavy hitters are rolling in here tonight. What's up, buddy? How's it going, guys? The one you're working on looks like he's scared. Yeah, he does look a little scared. I think it's because the one above him looks like he just farted. He's very happy with himself. <laughs> Badge her. Twerk it. Are you twerking in my chat? Let's go. Yeah, he's pr he probably got farted on. That's pretty terrifying. I still get asked, so why not? <laughs> it's true. Shake that booty, shake that. That is an adorable penguin, by the way. I'm just saying. Oh, the little penguin taking a booty. That's a that's a twerky penguin. I would party with. I would totally party with that penguin. I'm working on it tonight, but I am also somewhat sleep deprived, so I might actually duck out here pretty soon. Then Not don't. Yet. Okay, then you have to actually go to sleep. You can't just stay up and write. <laughs> Miss sleep deprived. But mom, <laughs> guys, how's um how's the the monthly challenges going? Who's who's working on what? I'm not dedicated to any one particular challenge. I know um I know Egbert's doing the 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 Inktober action, and he's killing it. By the way. Uh, I know um, some people are doing like double prompts. They're like crossing the streams with their prompts. They're just prompt tasking up the place with all their awesome arts stuff. Taking it to the next level. If you guys have anything you want to share, please. The chat is yours to post the links in or if you'd rather do it. In the Discord, exclamation point Discord will get you there. However you feel like you want to do it, if you want to. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. We're just kidding. All the pressure. Well, she's pressuring you. But probably in the good places. <laughs> probably in the good places. It's Egbert. just a trip to the hot seat. That's all. Come on. Egbert, I don't think you drew this one today. I don't. I, I mean, it could have happened, but I don't think it happened today. You guys want to see what a s'more looks like in Egbert's? <laughs> you click that link. It'll be it'll be there for you. I bet that was a, some cake art. Was it? I was watching, I was watching Egbert's. Uh, was that was that some cake art? There, Egbert. You uh, fireside cake. Oh, Trish. <laughs> it's not that kind of cake, Trish. <laughs> it's not that kind of cake. <laughs> Alright, you wanna you wanna Peaches and can pancakes did it? It's really funny. Here, I'm gonna do a little sneaky peek, because it's fine. It's totally fine. Alright, here you go, go. Trish, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's not the cake that you think. It's not the cake that you yeah. think. Okay. <laughs> when we say cake. It's not actually cake. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yeah, the terrifying reality of digital art, right? I know. It's it's too much. It's too much. It's hilarious though. Take it anymore. <laughs> Trish is like cake. I want to see art with cake on it. Or cake with art on it. It's not that kind of cake. Now, if you like that kind, if you like that particular kind of cake, like that style of cake, is that if that is your delicacy of choice, I can direct you into the the channel of Doctor Diggity Dank hosts cake parties. I believe they're on Thursdays, and they are different themes of cake each week. If that's something that you're into, uh, yeah, kind of the first thing that popped into my head, but it was not that one. True. There's there's cake for all kinds around here, and uh, I believe Egbert also attends the cake parties. He's he's one of the uh, majestical voices that joins 
the stream. I've not had the pleasure of actually attending one of those streams. I, I hear there's lots of joyous shenanigans that happens, though. That was a jaw dropper. Well, most dessert is pretty much in that category. Big ones, little ones, some as big as your head. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Facts all around on that situation. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. But if you guys really want to see actual Egbert art, I will show you some Egbert art. Because it's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good stuff. There he is. Good old, good old Johnny boy has some some mighty good talent. We're gonna show off a little bit of it. This is some of his actual stuff. No, we're not updating passwords today. Get out of here with that shenanigans. Good Lord Jesus. Can we, uh, can we, uh, please pause for a moment and, and bask in the glory of this perspective, please? Yeah, I, saw, I saw that when he, when he was talking about that and, and he was trying to, uh, he was trying to draw perspective and perspective is actually pretty fun to draw. Perspective is a blast and there's actually, um, a video showing how he did said magical maths of lines yeah. looks like lasers <laughs> laser point precision of the arts but yeah so you draw all these lines and you, you they turn into a magical building with a creature standing in front of it delivering a letter how cute is this little creature though it's like a little sluggy sluggy guy it reminds me of snail uh, mill, quite actually, but where he doesn't have a shell though. So is is a shell? And is I mean, like, is the shell the difference between a snail and a slug? Is that like the only difference? It reminds me of Bubble Bobble, the one of the dinosaurs from Bubble Bobble. Bubble, I'm not familiar with what in the world that is. Bubble Bobble, Bubble Bobble. Now, that is an old school game. Now, if you find that impressive you'll find the 3D skill set also impressive. Um, <laughs> I saw that when it was going around. It was so There you funny. go. Yeah, there's, there's, there are things to enjoy <laughs> from all angles of this creature. Um, <laughs> the, the realism of how the sausage is made is thoroughly displayed here. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he's a Swiss Army knife. What a special friend you Peaches are. Peaches and pancakes for the win. If you guys like uh, s'mores, make sure you follow Peaches and Pancakes and her amazing art. Anywho, <laughs> it haunts your dreams. I mean, come on. That is a balloon knot that you cannot perfect <laughs> any more than that. That is, that is like level 11 <laughs> balloon knotting right there. Just saying. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you guys are following Creep of Egbert. While we're here, basking in the glory of amazing art talents, let's take a look at uh, Joshi Woo. And make sure you guys are following these people, for the love of Pete. Now, he drew this uh, last night on stream. Monday Night Fights is his regular stream. Too kind to of share. No, you! No, you, John! So this is Uwu, Josh, Josh, Uwu, doing all the cuties. This was a mix of two different prompts, uh, dream and day, off of two different lists, I believe. So he's doing like two different ones. And he had um, Lady Aethrias was on there too, I believe. Oh, it was from her list. It was from her list, sorry. And then they drew a sparkly spider on the, the second round. So these are the two pieces that they drew last night, and they're absolutely adorable. I love how much detail you can do with just simply a pen. Just just a pen. That's it. Maybe a little maybe a little highlight with a little white gel pen, but other than that, it was just it was just it's just Josh and his little pen working his magic like he does. It's pretty freaking amazing what you do, Josh. You're damn talented. And you're too fucking hard on yourself. 
You're the nicest person on Twitch, I think. Or at least the top five. I'm just telling you right now. And he's also this multi-talented fool that likes to do digital art, too. Look at this. So, um, his uh, persona is Uwuko. That's his theme of his channel. And Cloud9 is one of his uh, v VTuber characters that he's created. So, Oh, and you have it updated with the little emote. That's so cute. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, he rocks the digital. Here's his mushroom. The he did that for Wheeler's. That's his mushroom samurai. That's really, really cute. Uwu, did you ever go back and, and listen to the replay of Wheeler's thoughts, comments, and whatnots from yesterday? Or Monday? Monday. God, it's already Wednesday, you guys. I'm losing my mind. Isn't that crazy? Freaking love it. I love your art style so much. It's so crazy. We have cool people on here. You did that just because you... Are you serious? Aww. I know you put it together really fast. The The speed in which you can turn out Samari is pretty freaking incredible. I'm just gonna... I'm not, I have I'm got not, to step up my game and update mine. I'm not gonna lie. It's been way too long. <laughs> you did it because of me? I'm gonna cry. Aww. That's so sweet. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you got something in there. Yeah, I'll see the ones from tonight. I'll pull them up here whenever. I know it, I know all about that that art tax life. Whenever you're wrapping up your stream and you have the the anxiety attack of oh shit, I'm raiding somebody. I have to get my art that I just literally finished in like <laughs> three milliseconds after you raid in because everyone's like, what'd you do on your stream? Can I see it? <laughs> and you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. I totally get that. I try not to demand an art tax unless they have it ready to rock. But I absolutely love seeing this stuff. I need to do some new stuff. I need to do some other things. <laughs> Not green bag. What's up, dude? Green bag. Dude, green bag. Are you going to remix? Um, are you going to do... Are you, are you going to clip uh, Egbert's little tunage for Tony and, and remix it? It just seems like something that you, you may or may not be interested in doing. <laughs> The thought did cross your mind. You totally should. All right. I do believe I am going to go ahead and throw in the towel. It is 1130. Okay. And I yes. am going God to damn. go ahead. Have a most excellent evening. You too. Thanks uh, for coming in and saying hello before 2 a.m. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I got here earlier because it was raining cats and dogs. And my dad, like, when I was over at my there dad's, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna head home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I'm here earlier than my usual arrival time. But I Sounds am blood tired, and I'm gonna go sleep. So, Have fun uh, sleeping. Love. Will do, and I am actually sleeping. Can you believe that? Dream of beautiful things that you can write down later. <laughs> Absolutely, Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Have a good one, Nerdy Mouse. Nerdy Mouse, everyone. Bye bye. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've been on a bit of a roll this week. I've done like three or four new remixes. That's amazing. I mean, as long as you enjoy doing them, and you don't feel like you have to do them, because I think they're tons right. of fun. I like the one. I like the. I like the one that I heard on uh, Wheeler's stream about. Uh, you know, like uh, who's 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 Green Bag? Oh, the, yeah. Who? Where the fuck is Green Bag? Yeah. Yeah. That was funny. That was bag? funny. Where's, They've been heaps of fun. Bag? Hell yeah. Where is Green Bag when we need Oh, we him? got ads starting soon. Just a heads up for anybody that needed that warning. We'll be back in a minute. I think it's a minute or a minute and a half or something like that. 
That was so much fun to make. Yeah, that's hilarious. I love whenever you can get like multiple people saying the same thing over and over. I feel like My Ubu question. needs one with everybody that like shouts Ubu. My question is, where do you do? Where do you upload it to? Where do you upload it to? You, you mm -hmm. just oh, you mean like. After he remixes it, you just upload okay. it to Discord, usually, I think. Or, like, a DM. No, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then they can download it and put it wherever they want to put it. Or, or, they, or they can actually play it from Discord. Art parlor! Oh, yeah, oxen free! Holy shnikes, she's coming in hot. What's up, girl? Uh, I just saw you on. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna come in. I'm Heck like, yeah! yeah. She's bringing the party. Well, we are, we already have a party going on, but she's bringing the energy what? to the party. It's fucking stupendous. Thanks. Party. I thought it was fitting for the month. At least, like, at least you're. I don't know. I don't know. I have to figure out how to do what you're doing right now. <laughs> you're what do you mean? After my fucking fail, I I just think I'm gonna do my book club forever for now on forever on Discord. All right. That, that works. I think it's a bad thing, though, because I kind of like to see everybody's face. Well, I mean, it makes for a f more fun conversation if you have a back and forth like that. Yeah. But what's up? What's up? What's up, Blu-ray and Jeremy? Who else is in here? Blu-ray, Jeremy Stoltz. Jeremy Howdy. is post-stream processing, so he's, he's kind know. of AFK. Also, yeah. Joshua, what's up? Butterflies with bare feet. Up. Yeah, we got all sorts of. And, I, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just here coloring the uh, comic, comic pages. Nerdy mouse. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. What is I happening? What, what, what is happening right now? Sebastian God. Illustrations God. just God. raided God. the God. channel. Oh my God, I love him. I love him What's so much. What's up, Sebastian? Thank you for bringing your ten closest friends on the internet to come hang out with me for a little while. I appreciate that. Let's get you a little shouty outy. If you did anything cool in your stream, no pressure. But if you would like to share, your the 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 chat is free and available for all sharing. Or Sebastian an is Instagram bomb.com. I have I have snuggled through <laughs> I, I into his streams Frank's occasionally. He is quite talented. Mm. Look at all that. Turn into goodness. a boot. You touch the ooh, turn into talented. a boot. He's also <laughs> don't know if you know goddamn here. fucking intelligent. How's it going, <laughs> Smugsy? Who's his curse? Well, One of my favorite things about being in Sebastian's stream is like the conversation and like, I don't know. Nice. So much goodness. Yeah. All the good stuff. Well, thanks for for choosing my humble channel to to uh, raid in and say hello. It's always good to see you out and about. We're just, we're just here drawing some gourds. I like your gourds. Thanks. We're just we're just drawing gourds and you know doing shenanigans. It's yes. pretty. It's a pretty chill stream in here. Sometimes it gets a little unhinged. Okay, most of the time it gets unhinged a little bit at least. Yeah. Um. I'll tr I'll try and not unhinge things. <laughs> that sounds good. Gorgeous gourds. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um. We normally always have a voice channel open in the Discord, so if anybody, anybody in the chat, it's open to you guys coming in and saying hello, come and go as you please. Uh, we have a couple of people hanging out with us. We've got the lovely art parlor, Mr. Blu-ray, and Jeremy Stoltz is muted but hanging out. Art of DHTT, welcome, hello. Thanks for the follow. You guys, um, if if you are interested in silly art shenanigans, please make sure to hit that follow button. We are like three-ish or four away from hitting 600. So that'd be cool if you want to be a part of that um, milestone. You definitely be a part of that. If you if you want. No pressure. No pressure. Again, we like, we like to just... so much pressure. <laughs> She likes putting I'm pressure saying, on things. I'm a salesperson. She likes putting pressure on things. You should definitely 
follow Badger because yeah. she draws the coolest shit ever. Whoa. And if you don't, what you're gonna miss out. You are. <laughs> Nobody wants to miss out. Ah, uh, Smugsy got pressured, but I bet you it was like on one of those pleasure points where it got pressure, so it felt good on the whole. You know how all your friends say if everybody's jumping off the bridge, don't do it. I say, you know what? That bridge isn't that hot. I mean, You're unless it's like in the Arctic, so, like, right? Join in the fun. As long as it's not like freezing water, then it should yeah. be fine. Yeah. Right? It, as long as it's not like a bridge where you're going to die when you hit the water, then you should totally jump for yeah. the thrill. And this is definitely a thrill jump. No, no lifeguards you know. on duty required, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> Follow badges or little tree will eat your toes. Oh no. Tree smoker is going to sick little tree on your toes. Hey, some people like that. I mean, if you're into that, then don't follow. I'm just saying, don't I'm pretty that. sure there's a bunch of people making a lot of money on OnlyFans <laughs> just showing their toes. That's all I'm saying. They probably do it on Twitch, too. I'm just saying. <laughs> they might. They might all... What do you think, Badge? I, I, I don't do know. You That's think not. I should show my toes on Twitch? Do you really need. I mean, if. I... No judgment. If he, if it needs to be done, then it needs to be done. I will support if it you. Happens, maybe, maybe. I will I support you a from a distance. Reveal. I don't think I will be showing up to those streams to say Here's hello. Here's my toes. You only get them once, and then they never. Oh god. <laughs> it's like an eclipse. Oh god. I'll do like a four time yearly. Like, make it a, a redeem. Yeah, make it a redeem on your channel art parlor. Right. Be like the toe redeem. Oh Jesus! Don't don't tempt me. You can you can call it the toe jam, and you can have a little song you play. <laughs> yeah, that's like oh the God. the careless whisper of the toes. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll do it. You I... can George Michael the shit out of your foot. Dang. Oh my God! Don't give me any ideas. I think I just did, and I'm kind I'm of regretting crazy it. Enough, almost. I might actually do it. <laughs> almost regretting it. Not quite. We won't know. We'll just give it a few months and see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if, if it's necessary. If it's necessary. Desperate Put times. Desperate times. Hey, wall. Tiptoes. Tiptoes. Oh, this is why I love Sebastian. He's so clever. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. He knows. Tip. You got a tip for the toes. Tiptoes. What? How much should <laughs> the tip be? Oh, it should be, uh, oh, maybe like, what is it? This little piggy went to market. If you want to go to market, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> My brain is going in crazy places now. Thanks, Sebastian. I think it was a group <laughs> effort. I don't think it was just Sebastian. We all went there together on the crazy like, bus. Mm, maybe we, Tree started it. Tree, tree lit the flame. And it, we just took it straight to the fireworks shop. Now, maybe now I'm just gonna, I, I'm gonna draw a tree and all the branches, like all the extremities are gonna be like toe shaped. Oh my <laughs> God. Just for you tree. Maybe. Is maybe that gonna I'll be your it. next giveaway? <laughs> maybe, it could be. There you it go, there's totally, your paywall. <laughs> totally be. Give, you gotta, sell you tickets. Tip you gotta toes. sell tickets to get your tiptoe drawing. <laughs> right. Oh my. Oh my. Butterflies with bare feet. Totally interested. She has bare feet in the name. She said it was interesting. She didn't say she was interested. Hey, <laughs> feet in the name. This is true. I'm, but the butterflies are, have the naked toesies. I will. I will do a toe tree with like butterfly friends involved. That sounds amazing. Oh my gourd. This is, is do we I, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I have an image in my head already. She's she's getting sketches down now before it, it leaves her brain. I already know it. She says, Oh my gourd. <laughs> it, just remind, it just reminds me of Danny Allard's stream. She was actually uh she was actually drawing uh lattes and we were naming uh pumpkins and we were naming the lattes and and so yeah, it's like everything was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my, it's like a lot of gourds, a lot of lattes, and 
It was just, it was just. Oh my god. Rather strange. <clears throat> yeah, it gets weird around here sometimes, but that's okay. It makes it more fun. You know, I like I, it. I, I swear that I swear that uh, Brenda and Danny are sisters. I think because they they have the same energy. Danny. Yeah, Danny. Like Danny, I can I, I can be Danny. Danny. No, 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 no. Because I was trying to connect those Dan dots, and that wasn't fitting for no, me. No, Dan Danny Allard. She's she's uh, a musician and artist, and she's uh, she uh, she is in uh, Canada. Tree smoker. We can make toe monsters we even can make without toe Wheeler. Monsters without Anthony. Uh, but I mean, he, he he would make a good one. But he I would make he would an make epic one. toe monster. I'm not gonna lie. He would be amazing. At the Toe Monster Challenge. Maybe we'll save that. Toe Monster Challenge. You know what? We are going. That's I'm gonna, a good ring to it. I'm going to put that on the suggestion board for the Chaotic Draw Along on Friday. Whenever he takes prompt suggestions, we're going to throw that into the pot. I feel that needs to happen. I think I, I don't disagree. If I remember when I'm available during the prompt collection time because sometimes I'm not there at that time but if I get it in there it will certainly probably be selected maybe I'll do it anyway green bag if you're still in here remember that Friday toe monster for chaotic draw along okay okay we're gonna start getting votes now <laughs> Toe monster, got it. Make a note. Okay, see, you got you gotta team up with the regulars to get to get on board with your prompt. And and uh, and Cody Stabby would draw it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you could get in on a making monsters prompt, if you can win the giveaway, you can have Toe Monster be part of your prompt words, and that would be cool. There you go. I think that would be great. I'd do it this weekend. I'd make a toe monster a corn. You know what? You could just draw your own toe monster without being a prompt. But I absolutely love having a showcase of nothing but toe monsters because that's amazing. All right, we've got two pumpkins now, and let's get let's get a couple more done. Those are turning out really them. cute. I love that you're on black paper. I love I love 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 doing. Color well, the stream black. started. Okay, the stream started on on toned paper, and I was gonna do a undead bride, and got about that far with her, <laughs> and I wanted to like throw her off the ravine because she was pissing me off. So oh, instead of it. throwing her across the room and lighting her on fire and saying swear words, we just put her in timeout. We're gonna revisit that one later. Probably not on stream, unless I have a really good sketch down first. And then um, I may be doing that as a digital piece. I guess my babe Ross, my little pony, was a toe monster. <gasps> Greenback, do you have a picture of that? Is that on your Instagram? Because I need to see that. I, I think I've seen it, but I need to see it again to remember. I'm sure it's on here. Let me look. Oh, it is. It is. It's right here. Here we go. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll come on and do something fun on Friday. Like I it's can't. It's the I'm Tony not and Night have a concert. There's, I there's your toe monster. That, there's your toe monster. I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I just love that they're like beige. Yes. Wait. Because that is like not the like, you know, My Little Ponies. Like, there's no beige My Little Ponies. I say Toe Monster and that triggers Siri on my iPad. What the fuck? <laughs> How? Who knew? Go to bed. You You're drunk, freak. Siri. That's too funny. Yes. So that's a. Yeah, the skin is very deliberate. Siri's <laughs> into toes. Apparently, new fetish unlocked. <laughs> oh, I, How's oh, it going, actually, Art? 
actually, uh, actually, in My Little Pony, there is there is horses in the in the show, so they are tan. Oh, I hey, there you go. See, I learn something new every day. There's there's Pegasus, Pegasi. Mm -hmm. There's Pegasi. unicorns, and there are actual ponies. There there's the three. And then what's what is it with their with all three like the the unicorn horn and the wings is a different something. And the I can't. Prince, the, the princesses. Yeah, horn but they're horn. The what? Who? Oh, oh, um, oh the uh, alicorns. Alicorns. Yes, thank you. I couldn't remember the terminology, but they also have those as well. Those are the royalty, when they have all the special powers and whatnot. A pegacorn. Uh, a hornicorn. A like? pegacorn sounds like a sexual position. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, not gonna oh, lie. We can go somewhere with that. Do we need that oh to be in our <laughs> a pegacorn? Not safe for work. Yeah. Safe if you want to do that as an art prompt, that's definitely gonna be a not oh, safe for work one. Oh, that would be. One. Uh, that would be fun. That would be hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Karina's like, ma'am. Pegacorn, ma hornicorn, same. Okay, here's your here's your not safe for work prompt. Colonel Pegacorn. <laughs> Let's do it. Pegasus and unicorn mixed. Oh, that's now you're getting into like, you know, the yeah. uh, those are alicorns. I knew what you meant. Incestuous. Thank nice. God, little tree is not in here. Hey, tree smoker, on the door it says 18 plus, clear as day. So. True that. <laughs> I know, she knows that. She knows that. She knows. But yeah, that would be a little much for a little tree moment. <laughs> oh, dear. We are so bad. So bad. So bad. Thank you so much. I love you too. I love you so much. So we're I doing toe on monsters. On. So we're doing two mo toe monsters and we're doing uh, pegacorns. We just have all sorts of ideas oh, we're coming up with. Snap. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I guess, I guess we should have a uh, not safe for work stream. <laughs> <laughs> That would be on. That would be for Discord. Yeah, I guess it would have to be Discord. Yeah, I mean, you idea. just don't show the show the 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 nips or the tips, and you're fine. I mean, there's not. I mean, there's nothing. She I mean, had her art class with Jerber, so I let her about, off like, the hook for your stream. That's so sweet. About um. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how detailed I want to talk. I'm just going to stop. I'm, I usually cause trouble when I start, like, getting really into this stuff. I'm just going to stop. She's going down the rabbit hole. Nope. Nope. The hole. We said hole. <laughs> hole. Cornhole. That's right. I well, you did you, you were here to see Egbert's artwork, didn't you? Did you, did you see Cream of Egbert's artwork? I did not. We, we, I just got here. We talked. Well, I couldn't remember when the art talent show you came in. Nope. I just came in. Like, as soon as you heard my voice, that's when I came in. I, well, thank you. <laughs> so, I didn't see anything so this that. is I just, his. I just uh, and I was like, Bleh. This is his that spider that he did for Inktober. <gasps> you see that, that is the most insanely awesome creepy thing I've ever seen. It was so fun. I was just Wait on... for it. No. It looks like the baby that I bought from the fucking It has an anus. So yeah. I think cornholes allow. I was just on Vorndor stream <laughs> the other day and like watched <laughs> This is like goes along. I was on Vorndor stream and I guess he was like taking prompts, but like I wasn't, the prompts were like before, but I was like, we should do like inappropriate arachnids. Oh, and that might yeah, be the yeah, most yeah. inappropriate arachnid I have ever seen in my life. 
I can show you another one. That was fucking. Here we go. Hold on. See. One moment, please. Same artist. That's amazing. That was amazing. Same but artist. Also creepy as fuck. What? Oh fuck. Same artist. Oh my oh. god. That was uh. <laughs> Last it. that was. I hate it and I love it. At the he same did that time. July 2022, so oh, a couple years ago. Oh my god. Yeah. So if if you like, yes. if you like shenanigans. Uh yeah. Yep. Uh, my type of person. That's my type. That's my type of person right there. Cream of Egbert. <laughs> I'm gonna give him another shout out just because he did raid here what? earlier and we we kind of deep dived into his stuff, but. I love all of it. Yeah, he's he's pretty rad. So yeah, give him a follow if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, he's Ooh's the guy that he likes to sing. Makes the art that you love. Oh. It's Uwu. <laughs> he's the singing about Josh Uwu. Draws the things on I'm already live stream. following him. So it's yeah. Uwu. Alright. Yeah. We love we love our, our crazy artists here on the platform. They do amazing things. Not always are they dirty things. <laughs> But when they do go down the rabbit hole, they okay, do it in I, style. <laughs> I'm just saying they should do a redo of arachnophobia and only use his arachnids. Oh, <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> that would be terrifying for sure. Oh and my gosh. I, I think there might be a lot of, I don't know. I think, I think most of the people here remember the movie arachnophobia which is actually a pretty fucking good movie like i watched it a couple of years ago as a grown-up and i was like oh this this movie actually doesn't suck the acting isn't shitty that like, wouldn't give you real nightmare stress decent fucking movie probably me too it's I was a very, like, it's a very good but it's movie. also super terrifying i i mean i'm not a huge fan of the the spider as a creature in general no, so I anything would creep me out but that would be extra bonus points of creepage i mean sure it's kind of funny like you have a spider that has eight legs and i want to like die but i see an octopus and i'm like i fucking love you you're so squishy oh my god you have eight legs you have that phobia too yeah I've, i struggle quite a bit spiders. with uh the the spider it's because it's because of it's the Black Widow and the Oof. Brown Recluse. Yeah. I'm telling you, because we live in that like we live Get in all horrible countries for days. Yeah. If you live like in some other part of the world where they don't have like poisonous spiders that could kill you and like eat away like half yeah, of your yeah flesh life rotting bite you, bites yeah then you know you might not care so much but yeah in this in our part of the world. You don't mess with spiders. Mm -mm. You run from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and snakes. Oof, oof. Yeah, that's a that's also a no for me. Also a no. How about no? <laughs> there was this one challenge that we that I had to do in uh you know, kind of like a uh, scavenger hunt. And uh, one of the things on the list was you need to hold, you need to hold a, uh, to hold a snake, and and uh, oh, then I think I think take a picture of it. And so, so we went to this one pet store, and I'm the only one that that would hold hold snakes. And so I just I just I just held a garter snake. Garter snakes are not that bad. No, that's that's nothing. Yeah, and it was pretty, and it was small too. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, but that was that was uh, that was like many years ago. Hmm. Yeah, I would have been like, nope, I lose. Thanks, but no thanks. So long, and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> do, 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 do. Welcome back from that beautiful ad break. I know it was be so fun. 
can't wait to do it again another time. Thanks for hanging out. Wowzers. All these cool people hanging out tonight. I absolutely love it. I just had to go tell my daughter. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to be staying up later tonight. <laughs> because even though I have to work tomorrow, it's a student holiday, which means I have no students tomorrow. Okay. So kind of yeah. like parent-teacher conference day sort yeah. of thing? Yeah. Parent-teacher conferences. I have to talk to 10 parents. We've got ours on uh, Friday. They're but out. They're out this Friday. There's no students tomorrow, so it's kind of like, you know, workish. It's like a holiday, but not a holiday. Like you have to go up there. Not, I'm not. I'm saying that you don't have to talk to a few parents because you do. Yeah. Pepper but like oil. I don't have to be like 100% full on hardcore. That's good to know, Tree Smoker. Yeah. I think I knew that already, but I forgot it. Uh, talking about peppermint oil, uh, put it on a cotton ball on the corners of your windows and doors, and it'll keep um, spiders and snakes Ooh. away. Because they don't okay. like it. So. Does anybody like sp I mean, Okay, have you ever met anybody that's like, fuck yeah, spiders? Uh... My my lovely friend does enjoys a good spider now and then. I mean, I've known a few people that like a few okay, like two that have like pet tarantulas, but I think it's only cuz they saw the Home Alone movie in the 90s and thought it was cool. <laughs> that's okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but I'm like, really? Like lizards, sure. Snakes, okay. Like seriously, like Spiders? I'm I'm sorry. They no don't thanks. fucking love you ever. No, no, they don't have an emotional attachment to to creatures. I don't think I don't think lizards or snakes do either. But you know, maybe that's an ignorant thing on my part, and I'm biased. I don't hate lizards or snakes, by the way. I could definitely like relate more to like a lizard snake relationship with people, <laughs> maybe ish. But spiders? Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Like, no, they don't love you. They don't care. <laughs> Somebody prove me wrong. I would love to be, please. Like, I will, I'm open to yes, that. Yes, what are the, what is the wrong, emotional no. capacity of a spider? Of a fucking spider. If you have a tarantula that or you a reptile in general fucking loves you, I want to hear that story. Actually, I would love to hear that story. That would I, be super cool. I don't know how to, to, to judge that. Whoa. I, I don't either, but maybe it happens. Ursula, I, I think it <laughs> thanks go, for I the think follow. It gone viral already if it was true, but I don't know. Thanks for the follow. My goodness, you guys are rad. Jumping spiders will never be as cute as fading goats. That's all I have to say. If a spider jumps on me, I'm going to scream and run and act like a fucking idiot. That's fair. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to go pushing gadget to pinch them. Dude, are fainting goats not the funnest thing? They're like, hilarious. Dude, my mom has 10 acres. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you need to um, Google that like, shit because it's so funny. You want me to come visit more often, mom? Get some fainting goats? If you, you scare a goat, it will freeze. Like... It's been in the deep freeze since, you know, last year's Christmas. Um, that's how still and stiff it is until it, like, comes to or whatever. I don't know. It literally, like, full rigamorous frozen. No, it's hilarious. You can literally walk up to it and push it over. You don't even have to push it. You just say, eh, and it just falls over. <laughs> it's really funny. Is there seriously... I feel like everybody's seen fainting goats, though. It's good. Babe, how much? How many more times do you think we would go visit my mom if she had fainting goats? Um, at least two. The fainting goats. A minimum of two. Like the goats where you go ah, and they just like get paralyzed and fall over. If she had fainting goats, you you couldn't keep us away. You could probably sell actually... tickets to have people do that to your animals. <laughs> 
be honest. My mom is actually a wildlife rehabber. So she like, she does deer, like she actually like rehabs baby deers. Aww. And they are so effing cute. They're tiny. Baby deer. Like baby babies. Deer. Oh. Like she does it wildlife rehab. That's and she adorable. did. She used to do raccoons, but then she had a huge rabies scare like year before last, and oh that was gosh. like very traumatic. Um, because one of them got rabies, and it was like very scary. And it's a whole story. I'm not gonna go into it. But now she does deer, and she gets all of these tiny little fawns, like Bambi, and they are tiny. Like you don't realize how tiny, like newborns, Bambi deer. Like, they're like tinier than puppies. They're tiny. And they're so cute. I mean, that makes sense. Because, I mean, if you think about the moms, right? They're not, like, they're slender built. So the babies like would the have to obviously cat. be. Like when they're really little. Pretty teeny they're tiny. They're like adult cat size. Yeah. And then when they're grown, they're more like Great Dane size. Yeah. But they're, I didn't know this until she started, like, rehabbing them. So she'll get like she'll rehab them and like release them into wild on her ranch. Bambi, so they're just, so cute. Just watch the movie Bambi, then you'll know. I know, but you don't realize how it doesn't small have they are a it doesn't life. have a really good like size context because they make they're Bambi so look so tiny, much like, bigger than the the baby rabbits and the baby skunks. Like they're they're like about like a baby deer is a like when they're really small is about the size of like a. I don't know, like a schnauzer. Okay. And they jump around like little I don't know. bouncy beans. I don't know how to describe them until you've seen they're one. They're bouncy, you... like they're little jumping beans. Yes, they're so funny. And they like they're like goats. They want to eat all your stuff. Like if you go in and try and pet them, they'll like just like eat your clothes or they like to like nibble on all your things. <laughs> That's cute though. <laughs> they taste good. What? I mean, I'm in Texas. I've had I mean, venison. I, I thought I thought they I were talking about that. the the baby deer tastes good. No, no, yeah, venison's but great. Like, yeah, I'm from Texas. My family, like my sisters, has they hunt deer. I like to eat venison sausage. Like I'm just saying, like little baby deers are really fucking cute. I love summer and sausage. So black. Summer sausage and deer jerky and uh, deer steak are great. But she also had like raccoons and she does like we have a she's third always done like crazy wild wild animal rescue stuff one more pumpkin on the top one more pumpkin on the top pumpkin on the top oh and then i have to do the stems but that won't take very long <clears throat> So how are you doing, Art Parlor? Good. Like I'm about to be on. So I have like a pair. A, kids are out tomorrow, so it's kind of like a whole day at work where I get to just like do work stuff without kids, which is great. Because as a teacher, you usually like have to teach all day and do like paperwork, work stuff. Like mm -hmm. you're not. You can't get past the wild taste to eat deer. Um, but, uh, you have to have a really good processor to do it right, or it can. But then I have like a taste a four day weekend, so yeah, I'm in a great mood. Venison is delicious. Four day weekend is always a good thing. Quite delicious. Mm. That's awesome. Though. The song. You never had it prepared white. It's yummy. I am drooling now. <laughs> that makes wicked good jerky. Ooh, jerky. I'm a jerky girl. I love some beef jerky. It, I'm very picky about my beef jerky, though. Okay, so I know this sounds crazy, but my ex-husband found That's this. crazy. I... Did I have an ex-husband? <laughs> she's um, like, well, you just shut the fuck up so I can finish my story. <laughs> I know she's like you love your new husband. Your new husband. He's not new. He's like way older. I've been married to him twice. He's not new. Husband. He's used. You guys. He's, he's second hand. He's, 
Um, but my husband before him, who's crazy, he found this guy that jerked fat only. So like, wait, what? Yeah, like you know, like meat fat, like you know, when yeah, you steak and you get the fat and it's like good. Yeah, he found a guy that would cut the fat off and make it into like fat jerky. I know that sounds crazy, but it'd be like jerky fat. And it was it's actually really good. I know it's crazy. It sounds crazy. And the only reason I brought it up is because it's fucking wild. No. And, no. It was, <laughs> it was a it's a thing. People do it, but it okay. It was actually pretty good. No. <laughs> yes. I'm not lying. What? In God's creations. No, I'm going to I'm going to look it up on the internet. I bet I can find Oh, I believe you. There's people do weird shit. I get it. Oh. I I have full faith in the existence of that practice. Uh but no. <laughs> uh okay, so I just learned something. Yeah, it's the pork rind thing. It's just deep fried Google fat. But this is like jerked fat. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a whole nother art prompt that's coming in my head right now called jerked it's fat. Can we? Head. Exactly. The head is. <laughs> that's why I had to have you repeat it the first time you said it because I was like, excuse me? <laughs> no. Excuse me? You're jerking what now? No. <laughs> excuse? Uh, What's in your head? Everything. Everything. I was literally talking about like beef jerky, but like Skiss? Yeah, don't don't Google jerked fat. Mm -mm. Not don't without safe search on. Don't I do just it. Did it. Yes. I regret it. New fetish unlocked. <laughs> should I should I read? Is that under no, the the what is it the the BBW section? <laughs> it's. I was just thinking of jerky. I didn't think this through when I googled it, but you googled fat. You need a notebook to write down all of these. Jerking big fat toe rooster. monsters. Fat women jerking roosters. Jerking off roosters. Oh I'm replacing roosters with another word, but okay. All right. All right. All right. Beef. Maybe I should put beef in front of it. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Um, okay. if you guys are offended easily, you have found the wrong I... channel to hang out in because we talk about weird shit. And I'm not gonna apologize for it because I think it's fucking funny. Okay. <laughs> in my defense, this was a complete accident this time. But it's still funny. But it's actually. not always this grody, though. No. Just sometimes. And it's funny. Okay. Um, I don't even know how to search for this now. <laughs> She's trying to figure out how to safely search for this. How to search for this. for this without porn coming up. Um, Maybe put meat processing in there and see how that works out for you. <laughs> so after hanging out here... I've made a SoundCloud, but now I need to go do dad's stuff. So I've only uploaded a handful of stuff. Look at you doing the SoundCloud thing. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna dried beef fat. <laughs> Happy little accidents. Okay. Wait, what's oh. the D song? Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna pause this. We're gonna listen to a green bag song, and then he can go do dad stuff. Well, I mean, he can do dad stuff even while we listen to it, but we're going to, we're going to listen to Can't Stop Laughing. <laughs> I love this dream. It's always a blast. I'm glad. All right. Wait, wait. Soul Thief is coming in. Welcome in, Soul Thief. Kitten Biscuits. Kitten Biscuits, welcome in. Are you responsible for this raid? It's good to meet you, Soul Thief. Welcome in. Let's get you a quick little shout out. What did you guys do in your streamy stream today? Thank you for the read. It's so sweet of you. 
Chicken biscuits. Let's get a little shouty outy. Honestly, You've been drawing. Like not, not killing Thanks enough for the people. follow. I crave more. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the cutest avatar. I absolutely love your uh, profile picture, by the way. Um... If you would like to share what you've been drawing on stream, you're welcome to. I have a Discord, or you can share it in here in the chat. However, whatever you want to share. If you have an Instagram, you can put that in there, too. I'm pretty flexible on how you want to share your stuff. If you want to share your stuff, no pressure. You love possums, so most of my things are possum-related. Well, welcome to the creature feature. I am a badger. It is my last name. So I have a lot of badgers in my emotes and things. So is badger really your last name? It really truly is. I didn't know that. It really truly is. It's a thing. People just I think I like it. badgers a lot. And it's really just because I married a guy with a weird last name. No, no, I would no, I would like to no, I would since I think I've asked you this before, but I'm not yes. sure if I did, but uh where did bad, where would badger actually come from? Uh, England. England. Yes. Okay. England. So, uh, you guys, right before you came in with the lovely raid, we were going to share our friend. Yeah, links are perfect. Go for it. Uh, I was going to share not green bags. Um, one of his music pieces. Let's look at this artwork first, though. Oh, this is cool. All right, hold on. One thing at a time. So this is um, Soul Thief's piece. And isn't it lovely? I absolutely love this this uh, bodice work. With all the, the lacing. That's super cool. That is totally cool. Make sure you guys are following Soul Thief. It's always good to meet new art friends. I'm going to hit that follow button right now. So that I don't forget to do it later. <laughs> yeah, that course is, is baller. That is amazing. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's really well done. Now it is I assume that is this a work in progress still? I only assume that because of the of the gloves and stuff down here. It looks like the dress still has color that you're trying to add into it. But I'm loving the hair. Your gradients are beautiful. Okay, so yeah, it is still a work in progress. That smooth transition between the pinks and blue is are just dreamy. And I love how the horns come up and they cross with like a little twist. That's absolutely fabulous. Those gradients are all by airbrush. Yes, yes, yes. I want to be able to see this when it's complete. So please make sure to let us know when you finalize this bad boy because it is cool yeah make sure you guys are following soul thief please make sure to um enjoy yourself hang out it is a pretty casual stream we are we are off the chain this evening <laughs> drawing a stack of pumpkins and uh, we're gonna share some not green bag art or um, music rather uh green bag likes to take um Snips and clips and uh, does some remixes and stuff in the electronic genre. And uh, let's. I. <laughs> That's kind of loud. Sorry. I've done a little deep. Let's get some dance emotes. You guys got some dancey modes you can show me? She's not done the D. Oh, 
All right, we're not going to listen to all of them. So that was the um the lovely uh Who was that? She didn't do the D, that's for sure. <laughs> trying to remember who that was. Was that Babe? It sounded like Babe. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's Babe Ross. So, uh, Not Green Bag just started a SoundCloud copy. I'm going to paste it into the chat again. And he likes to take clips of our favorite Anthony Wheeler. We just went into an ad break. That's lovely. <laughs> and so, there's a whole bunch of different... Oh, the dinosaur. Let's listen to the dinosaur one. It's so good. The ASMR dinosaur. So I present to you me making dinosaur noises. There you go, friends. The little bonus tune for you. We're gonna not overdo it with the with the goodness. Not overdo it with the goodness. That was a special bonus track for my subscribers. <laughs> you hate to rain and run, but you need to sleep. Oh yes, please get some sweet, sweet dreams. Thank you for the raid again, and it's glad I'm glad to meet you. I can't wait to see your piece finish. We'll be back on Friday. You're welcome to swing through and say hello. Welcome back uh, from the ad break. Now, Green Bay needs to make some of uh, Brooklyn Kaiju. I, I could just, I could just, I could just uh, picture him. Whenever they laugh, that would be very... Uh, well, and Jay, awesome. I know he doesn't do it as often now that he doesn't have, like, all of his... Um, no, I know, I know. But, but his I mean, character voices would be amazing as remixes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could, I could see Karen Kaiju. I love Karen Kaiju. <laughs> She's so good. Yeah, oh, but, my goodness. But every single time Jay laughs, it would be so funny to, oh, uh, to have that in this. Yeah. Hey, thank you for the... Thank you for coming to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, actually no. Especially when Mel, when Mel and uh, Jay talk, you know, back and forth while while she's on stream. Too. Oh right, yeah. Then, then, it, then it will, then it's pure gold right there. Does it get a little un unhinged? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. I've been in there where they really do just cut loose and have a good time. Okay, so I'm gonna suggest something. Just one thing? For Christmas. Oh, for Christmas. I know, it's, I know it's far away, but like sometimes we do streamy things. It's not far enough away. It's not a bad thing. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, so I used to have another streamer. She she she's a tattoo artist now, so she's not live streaming. But we did this a couple of times where we would do a background, like traditional art background. Yeah, we talked about that. And, and switch it. Well, last year for Christmas, it was super fun. You did the gingerbread house. Gingerbread house. So I thought, what do you think? Do you want to do that? Um. Maybe? You don't have to. I mean, no pressure. I feel all the pressure in all the right places. Oh, um. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, I mean, if it's the right know. places. <laughs> I 
my god! Okay, it's Whoa! Everybody, everybody stay Randy calm. Horton! Hi, buddy! Hi, buddy. How's it going, dude? Long time no see. How was your evening? Welcome in, Raiders. How's it going? Hi, everyone. Thanks for. What a special friend you are. Th thank you for the follow, Ali. I appreciate that quite a bit. Actually, we are really close to 600. If you guys want to drop a follow, please feel free. Um, welcome in. My name is Lindsay Badger. What I am a, a artist here. You are. On Twitch, we do a little bit of traditional art, we do a little bit of digital art, we do a little bit of fan art, we do a little bit of original art. Well, pretty much any kind of art is how we roll here. Welcome in. Randy, how's it going, bud? Hello, Deborah. It's good to see you. Thanks for saying hi. Guys, did we do it? I need to ref I need to check this. Hold on. Did we do it? Randy, how's life treating you? How's how's uh how's work? How's how's the 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 kitty cat? How's how's all the things? How's all the things? So good to see all you guys. Oh, we're one away. I just I just looked. That's so cool. Life's good. How's you and your family? Dude, the kids are just amazing. Family's family's doing all right. We're we're trucking right along. The kids are smart. Grades are good. Activities are keeping us busy. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. You're amazing. What a special caveman! You, are. you now forever for the history of eternity are now dubbed the six hundredth follower of the Badger Makes channel on Twitch. That is a pretty prestigious honor and I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you, dude. You guys, we officially hit 600 tonight. <laughs> Thank you. You were 599. Yes, Deborah. That's also a very rad number as well. Good math grades as a retired high school teacher is good. Hell yeah. I've got I've got an elementary school and a middle schooler and they are um, pretty close to straight A students. Sometimes they dip down to that B, but I'm not going to complain about that at all. I celebrate it. Celebrate it. Anyways, yeah, we've been having a blast tonight, you guys. We've had tons of friends come through and say hello. I've been drawing these super cool, spooky, ghosty friends and having a good old time. Uh, we've been jamming out to some music and checking out people's arts and all the things. So I'm glad you guys could join us. And if you hear some other voices, uh, it's because I have my Discord voice channel open. And uh, I've got Art Parlor hanging out with me. I've got Mr. Blu-ray hanging out with me. And also Jeremy Stoltz is hanging out. He's muted at the moment, but he's still in here. What an honor to be the 600th follower. I'm heading to bed. It's almost 6 a.m. here in the UK. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Race the sun to the bed. Uh, thank you for coming in to, to say hello. And uh, my goodness, it's almost 6 a.m. I can't even imagine being awake at 6 a.m. Unless there was sleep before it. I still don't even like imagining myself up at 6 a.m. with a full night's sleep. To be honest, it's almost 6.30. <laughs> Yikes! And actually, I'm almost, I'm like 20 minutes past my normal streaming schedule, but I wanted to be able to finish this. So I'm glad that I was able to catch you guys as you were raiding out. That's amazing. We're going to go a little bit longer. I've got a couple of stems to finish and we'll do some final touch-ups with some shadows and then we'll be done. What Sleep? What is that? <laughs> the One Oxide, thank you for the follow. You are 601. Congratulations. That is amazing. You guys rock. You, you guys, as a whole entirety of a group, this stream has been amazing. Oh, I love this community so much. Such good people here. You guys are so kind. Super nice. Congrats to you as well. Thanks. 
Yeah, we've been we've been lingering right behind that 600 mark for about a month now, and we finally did it. We did it. Now it's on to bigger and better, great new na new things, right? Always moving forward. <laughs> Thanks, Art. It's only 10:20 p.m. Where are you at? The, you're a you're a West Coaster, Vancouver, aren't you? Super West Coast. It's twelve twenty one here. Well, you know, um, our uh, Randy, our friend uh, C. S. Murphy moved to Hawaii. What? He lives in Maui now, so um, his art streams are always super late for me. I'm a central central time zone. So, um, it, he was, he was in LA before, and then he moved farther away <laughs> to Hawaii. Yeah, he, he moved three hours, three hours behind California. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's always like almost dinner time for him whenever I'm signing off. He'll pop in here. And say hi as I'm like wrapping things up, which is kind of sad because I love hanging out with him. He's my buddy, but we chat, we chat like off stream, like in the in the DMs and stuff, and send each other stupid reels on the internets, you know. But he's liking it there. He's enjoying it. Well, he didn't move there for a job. But I know he has a job. <laughs> uh, his uh, significant other has family that lives there. So that was the uh, deciding factor of going out that way. And he just needed a change of pace. And I'm like, well, shoot, if you have, if you have the opportunity... <laughs> Why not, right? Me too. Bye for now. You're at work. See you around. Thanks again for the for coming in to say hi and rating and everything, Randy. It's always great to see you, buddy. Enjoy your day. And I hope you have a wonderful yeah, work week. Yeah, Randy. Uh, we've we he's he's a travel streamer, so he he'll do like a travel streamer. I love it. So he he's like always going on the go places and stuff and so he's in the middle east he'll t take you to go see camels and in the desert and all that stuff and then he'll you never know where randy's gonna be <laughs> he's uh, he's going places he's lots of fun we were a part of a, another platform before we came over here that's how we met okay. He used to he used to do Periscope. He used to do Periscope, and then whenever Periscope went down, we we actually met on a platform called Haps, which was a really small okay. stream place that what didn't even last a year, not a full year. And so, um, and they kind of screwed all over their creators big time. So it was kind of a <laughs> community coming together sort of moment there. <laughs> Yes, they did, Deb. Is that still a thing? It still exists. It's still I, a I thing. I created an account there because I wanted to keep my name popping. Yeah, I... Uh, same here, too. Yeah, Haps went to crap like, really fast. It, up, and it, was like, it seems very, like, antiquated. Mm. It's... Technology wasn't great. It's a dupe, platform-wise, of Twitch. <laughs> I think I don't know. maybe I'm just not paying attention. Well, the the big thing is their pay split. 
is 95.5. Right. So that's the big pull to go over there. But they just don't have the viewer... They don't have the viewership base. They expect you to bring that with you. So unless you have a strong enough community established already to follow you to a new place, they're not going to provide you the viewership. <laughs> There's just... It's just too new. It's just too new. Yeah. Well, and, and they have a more lax rules when it comes to terms of service stuff. So you see a lot more... Yeah. Not so nice. Nice stuff. Yeah. You see the tits and the ass more frequently. Yeah, they messed everyone over a terrible how they did that at the end for reform and garbage. Exactly, Deb. Exactly, Deborah. Yeah. Well, they are um, based, ran, they are funded by a gambling site, a very popular poker, online poker thing. So that's like not their main form of income sort of situation. So that's why they were kind of like, oh, well, if I get a bunch of people to come over here, then I can get them to gamble and come over to the gambling streams and, you know, that kind of monetary shenanigans. Well, the young people are not as young as, you know, I mean, they're not like all 12 year olds. No, but like, they're still teens. I mean, I would say, as far as Twitch is concerned, us elder millennials are the boring. True. Yeah. <laughs> What's Twitch? Or why is Twitch? Hey, Des, welcome back. Everything good, kiddo? Well, you mi you've been missing out on the party, girlfriend. We've had a lot happening. <laughs> Aww. This is this is Des, Des Diamond Des, and she is my bestie bestie on the internetsy netsies, and uh, she is a fabulous artist. You guys want to see some art? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do. Oh, Des, I've been showing spiders with nut sacks tonight. Okay. I've been showing hot dog spiders with balloon knots. I think we can have a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think I think we can see some diamond does. I feel like I just got friends. What do you mean? Oh, I thought Des was your kid. No way, Jose. <laughs> I mean, some days I could be, but Okay. First of all, this is the gorgeous Des. This is the gorgeous Des. Oh God, she's really fucking hot. Yeah, she's hot, but also her art is hot. I mean, sorry, there's anime here too. I skipped right over that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was like, wait, it like double clicked. Yeah. Um, yeah, she drew that with colored fucking pencils. So if you think my pumpkins are good, yeah, she's the queen. She is the flarkin queen, okay? We're gonna we're gonna give you a little shouty outy. Yeah, this is happening right now. <laughs> Are you you have an underscore between yours, right? I think. I could never I spelt it wrong. You can. It just takes practice and time. I think I did that wrong. 
What you didn't say was patience. Did I do it right? I don't have mm, I Lindsay did. I did it wrong. No, I, Shit. I don't have patience for my heart, so I typed in her thing wrong. <laughs> I just gave up on the heart shit. Now I just draw random nonsense. Here, we're just gonna do this instead of that, that stupid ass yeah, shout out that I fucked up. Uh, my hand. Okay, so there's there's her Instagram in the chat. We got some progress pictures. That's her sister. That's charcoal and it's pretty. I would pet it, but it would get my fingers all black and gross and I would mess it up. Oh, uh, it has um you can pet it. I don't want to pet it because it'll mess it up. Look at this Anakin. Yeah. yeah. We're we're told me that he wouldn't even pay a hundred bucks for him. I was like, what? I was like, you're not an art collector. It's okay. That that person's <laughs> a douche nozzle. That's like people who are not art collectors don't understand the simplicity of art collecting. The yeah, the amount of time in progress. Look, like, oh, I friggin' love the Jake. Jake Sully. Jake Sully. You don't like the mouth on which? My sister. Oh, on your sister. <laughs> on your the sister. One that you passed, yeah. You remember that picture I sent you of Jake from Pinterest? Yes, ma'am. I do. <laughs> and look at the mushroomy guy. I love the snail Is Jake mushroom. Jake from Pinterest like the same as Jake from Stable? Mm. Uh, there's another pretty, pretty girl. Mm. He brings an extra package. Look at her. <laughs> uh, can we have a drawing of that? Yeah, this <laughs> this artwork is gorgeous. <laughs> That's a that one's paint, right? The peacock. Yeah. The peacock. I already destroyed that one. <laughs> no. I cut that one up and I threw it. I away. love the green glue. The the peacock one. The peacock one, yeah. That one's gone. I'm gone. Lover. Miss Targaryen. I love that show. I wish they would do more. You can tell like her inbredness because her jaw. Yeah. Did you watch the Targaryen series? Yeah. Yeah. That the House of Dragons? That's what that's yeah, that yeah, picture's yeah. from. Currently oh, okay. waiting. That's for what the this season. character's from. I liked it, except for when they jumped like twenty years ahead of time without any explanation. I kinda was like, okay, what's this? Yeah. Yeah. Like after like the guy beat the guy and then all of a sudden it was like twenty years later. Later, I love looking like, at your art, Des. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, the timeline girl. I love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, that ocean one too, with the mountain. Yeah. Gone too. <gasps> yeah, I, five years in the making. You and spent like, so fun. much time on it, though. I mean, it's rolled up, but like. I oh, okay. I was like, wait. I, I don't like it. Oh my god! And look at this moon. I think it's because like when you excel so far in your art, you just look back on all your stuff. You've kind of like, leveled up, ugh. and you can point out this. I get that. God, I get that quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's that's amazing. This is the only snake that I don't hate. That's pretty dope. I'm just saying. That was like the first one I ever did. That was like in depth detail. It's oh, the, was that Arteza? Yeah, this is Arteza. Arteza on Strathmore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty great stuff. I love art. And of course, the fan favorite, Venom. You made me do that one. <laughs> Aren't you glad you did, though? Yeah. Because they really stretched your skills and, and made you kind of dive deep into a skill set and... Did. Yeah, and look, I mean, all of this stuff is kind of like stemmed off of that because you've like leveled up since then so much. Mm. It's amazing. I can't wait to see more. Make sure you guys are following her, all the places. I did. I just followed all the places. All the oh my on gosh, Instagram, Des. For some reason, not on Twitch. Des, you're almost at a thousand on Instagram. I know it's you're at nine hundred and fifty-one right now. That is insane. And also amazing. Okay. You guys, I'm going to sign this pumpkin. And we're going to call her a night. Because it is like 1236. And I do have to get up. 
Okay, there's there's a there's a pull out view. I pulled out for you guys. You're welcome. Oh, You're welcome. Were you disappointed? I'm sorry. No, I, I don't want no more. Like, <laughs> yeah. Wait. I mean, I do. I love pumpkins. Oh my yeah. god. That is the best emote. Not only- Yeah. Yeah, the, there, there's multiple reasons why I love that emote so much. Alright, we're gonna sign this. I kinda wanna cut out and carve like pumpkins and like go do some photography with pumpkins on my head. On your like, head? Pumpkins. Yeah. Like dark romanticism, you know. Do it. Make it so. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you made it to 600. Have a wonderful night. Thanks, Deb. You guys, Des, we hit 600 while you were gone. Nice. Uh, the lovely Randy Horton blessed me with a raid this evening, and I his did. his crew came in and uh, pushed us over the top of the. 600 marks so that's pretty amazing and uh, God, God, you guys I can't even begin to thank all the people that raided this evening because it's pretty incredible can we go through the raider list let's have a thank you raider list all right Jeremy Stoltz Joseph Burke excellent thank you art parlor <laughs> just Josh Uwu Sebastian Illustration, Soul Thief Cosplay, and Randy Horton Rated tonight. We had a slew of Excellent. followers, and we made several brand new friends that I am excited to get to know, and I hope they come back and hang out with us some more. Thank you, uh, Art Parlor and Deb, both for those biddies. To wrap up the stream tonight, we need to find somebody to raid. Um, really cool. I'm I am, I am like, I, I don't even have the pro appropriate words to formulate a proper sentence to show the gratitude of this evening. <laughs> to be quite honest, I can just keep saying thank you over and over again. Thank uh, you for yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just that you are. Yeah. Lindsay needs us. It's it's a big, big huge thank you. So we're gonna switch over here. This is my this is my Y2K room if nobody's seen it before. Raids are awesome feature on Twitch. They sure are. I feel like every live streaming platform should have something like that. So um I'm going to bless let's do bells tonight. Let's do Belle's Lodge because she's an amazing artist. She likes to do watercolor. She likes to play in the charcoal. She likes to do the traditional arts. I feel like that's an appropriate raid target this evening. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy her art, please make sure to give her a follow. If you um, have emotes, raid emotes of any kind, I want you guys to flood her chat with as much emote love as you can can find in your in your little drive of your little emote drawer okay because she's a sweet bean all right i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna post my art before i go to bed and i hope everybody has the sweetest of dreams we're gonna be back on friday 9 30 central time if you guys want to come back and hang out and have some more shenanigans with all of us it's gonna be the same thing just a different piece of art <laughs> all right have a good night. Love you guys, and I will see you on the next stream. Speaking of, Jerry, are you there? <laughs>